Tour Australia. No rules, just flight. Happy Thursday, almost weekend. How's everyone doing? As, and I know it's Friday for some of my Australian friends. So happy Friday to those of you down under. Good to see you. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm wiped out, but I, I got energy because I'm streaming. Streaming gives me energy. Did I give me subs? Good to see you again. Hey, Oz. Oz, I do have, um, I'm already in voice. If you want, like to jump in, if you can. If not, I, I totally understand. But I do have voice open, ready for you. All right, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the top. Let's say my welcomes to everybody. Super Typhon, first in chat. Welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. Good evening back to you. Also, uh, Uncle B Sim Channel. Uncle B Sim Channel, an awesome, good friend of the community. Also, a fellow streamer. Got a shout out for him up there. Go give Uncle B Sim Channel a follow. You won't regret it. Great, great guy. Also, Irish Wake is another flight sim streamer. Also does some American truck sim over there on his channel. Also, a very engaging, really awesome guy as well. Welcome in, Irish Wake. I'll see Holden fan. Welcome in. I did see your message. Uh, that you weren't that you're not going to be able to stay totally understand that no worries at all I just I'm honored that you came in and said hello today. So I appreciate that uh, But I hope everything went well with your automobile and is going well also and uncle B It is my pleasure to be able to help shout everybody out and uh, hopefully get you some new followers uh, Chronico with a route command welcome in Chronico good to see you my friend uh, Chronico, did you see where I posted the route uh, in my Discord? Let's see here. Dragging Oz in. Well, it's trying to drag Oz in. There we go. Uh, Chronico, I don't know if you saw where I posted the route in Discord for Xbox users. I don't know if that's what you were looking for. If not, please let me know uh, because I do want to include everybody in the uh, flight plans. So do not give me subs. Welcome in once again, Oz Nomad. Thank you for being here. Oz is our vocal uh, tour guide on these Australian tours as much as he can. And I really appreciate all the time you put into it, Oz. Uh, Viper Strike, welcome in. Viper Strike, good to see you. Viper Strike, you put so much time into your streams. Very, very good to see you. Uh, if you don't follow Viper Strike, go please give Viper Strike a follow. Uh, you were streaming yesterday, I believe it was, and I was lurking from work. Kino, what's up, Kino? How are you doing? Good to see you also. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, King Ken, also uh, another fellow Australian. Good to see you, Ken. Ken King Ken, also. Um, give me just a minute. I'm working my way down the list. There we go. Kino is a fellow streamer as well. Um, content creator also. Go check him out. Go check him out. Peachtree, what's up, I Peachtree? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Welcome in. You know, it's doing well, trying to get your life organized. Hey, psh, good luck. Uh, it's, I, I know it's difficult, difficult to get our lives straightened out. So Oz, I'm going to shut up for just a minute and let you say hello. And uh, tell us a little bit about tonight's flight plan. Good morning, Scruffy and chat. How is everybody? I uh, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, yep, yeah, a bit more of an interesting um, uh, leg today. Uh, we're going to be kicking off in um, uh, Mackay, which is uh, the heart of a, a large um, sugar uh, growing area, plus all the mining that takes place around here that we saw in the last couple of legs. Um, then we're going to be heading to the beautiful Whitsunday Islands, um, holiday makers uh, paradise here. Um, beautiful, beautiful part of the country, uh, as we'll see shortly. Uh, and then proceeding further north, we're going to end up at Air. Um, there's what the, the, the single uh, handcrafted POI for this trip is, is, is not far from there just before we get to there, which is a massive um, coal loading terminal um, at Abbotsford um, uh, uh, Point. Um, sorry about the coal, guys. There's just so much of it over here. It's turning into a coal mining trip. <laughs> That's okay. I, uh, I, I really do enjoy seeing the coal mines in, in the... Uh... The, the coal fields, you know, where they where they ship it and everything. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, Paradox, welcome in. DH Paradox, a fellow streamer as well. Uh, Paradox does a lot of, uh, not flight sim, American truck sim. A little bit of iRacing too. Good to see you. Twitchy Rich, also in the house. Good to see you, Twitchy. Welcome in also. 
uh so if you'd like to fly along now's a good time to jump in this is the airport we're at yankee bravo mike kilo and we're on us east server so first i wanted to talk about this this uh armageddon-ish scenery that we have off in the distance here looks like something out of the matrix what the heck did a bomb hit this place looks like a bomb hit it and it just froze does anyone else have this weird scenery going on that was uh really wild first thing i noticed when i logged in like what the heck is that what happened right there who knows i don't think i'm seeing any of that that's yeah, really weird i guess it's just a glitch with uh with the sim when i loaded in who knows it's really weird all right so i am flying the wb sim uh cessna 172 my nose is getting stopped up i don't know why when i start stream my nose gets stuffy but anyways uh i'm gonna go through the starting sequence then we'll get up in the air let's see here get my plane get a little nav map set up for me oh no i lie i'm just moving around with the uh, drone camera and yes i am seeing those weird floating rocks and a couple of other things yeah that's really weird uh, good well i'm glad it's not just me thank you all right let's get the plane going all right so uh checklist even though i pretty much know how to do this by heart a good pilot always 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 uses a checklist no matter what even though you've done it a million times am i a good pilot no that is not what i'm saying you think they're lumps of coal hey king kid it very well could be lumps of coal <laughs> all right parking brake uh is set fuel selector valve is on both fuel shutoff valve is only on or pushed in position yes exactly redundant checks to make for make for non puckered butts exactly exactly oh uh, uncle b add me as a friend uh i'm scruffy tam just spelled just like it is on twitch and everywhere else so just oh never mind okay well that was a quick answer <laughs> all right uh throttle open to a quarter inch and i've got the uh, fuel mixture on idle cutoff we're going to turn the master and the battery switches on also turn a little beacon on all right fuel pump turn the fuel pump on ease our way to full rich wait a minute why did the avionics come on there all right fuel pump we are getting fuel flow now fuel pump off back to idle cutoff and ignition start and then both and as the prop is spinning i will sl ever so slowly move the mixture up to rich there we go and then go back to both let me accept this friend request really quick yeah please feel free to send me a friend request anyone who would like to send me one it makes it really easy to spawn in on me and if i'm not streaming if i just happen to be on microsoft light sim feel free to jump in and fly along with me i love being surprised and i'm perfectly fine with it uh, throttle to 1200 rpms also you really can't tell on my controls cam but this is a box that was shipped to me it came in tuesday hmm wonder what's in it wonder who sent it it must have come from afar because the box is beat up pretty good we'll open it up in a little while I'm gonna leave you in suspense all right so throttle okay now we'll turn some lights on and avionics i still have not added oil we're down to 6.2 quarts let me uh check a metar here see where we're at YBMK. it would help if i spelled metar right All right, so we're at uh, 1015. Let's zoom in here. Get my altimeter set up. More my barrow setting, excuse me. 
It was, uh, what was it? 10.50. Come on. There we go. Can I get the knob working? All right, knobs are working. All right, I think we're ready to uh, ready to taxi out. All right, uh, no need for pedo heat altimeter. We got the altimeter set flaps. Oh no, I need to check my controls, and then we'll get out of the air. So, external view really quick. Full left aileron, we're good. Full right aileron, we're good. I don't feel anything binding, no hitting my microphone. That's the main thing I'm looking for there, so we don't get this. <laughs> well, I'm flying. All right, elevator down, elevator up. That's probably not good for the mic. Full left rudder, full right rudder. Flaps down. And flaps up. Scruffy in the plane. And part break off. Oh, let's see here. What runway? We got winds. We need to fly out of runway 1-4, which is to the right of me. We need to fly out of runway 1-4. KW, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Thursday to you. Happy almost weekend. How are you doing? How was your week? I had a good week busy week joe sosa welcome in how are you doing oh, i see you flying along tonight thank you for flying along whoops i find myself a lot of times watching chat and not necessarily watching my plane oh i did learn something today so today we had a uh, electric vehicle summit with the governor of uh, South Carolina, where I live. It lasted all morning. I learned that uh, one hour from me is the only Lockheed Martin F-16 production plant in the world and still, it's still in operation. That was really interesting to me. I didn't realize that. What is going on here? Little nav map is failing me again, or is this just a really skinny taxiway? It's just a really skinny taxiway, y'all. So I hope everyone had a good week. I really, uh, I had an excellent week. Next week, for me, starts eight weeks of very very busy time at work my schedule changes but my stream schedule is not going to change i uh had enough sense to look and see what my work schedule was going to be before i posted my uh stream schedule for you know a few months back so so we're good hey what's up gear bear good to see you hey, yeah man i had a really good week i always have good weeks i love what i do and that makes a big difference in uh in your attitude see i love my job so i already see uh kenzo kermit the frog is with us hi ho kermit the frog uh we got jerdot with us also oz nomad of course and i thought i saw yeah there we go there's nova stuff twitchy rich is up in the air already saw a couple of other people i thought maybe not yeah there we go crazy uh Crazy Edison, that's the other one I saw. There we go. That's everybody I saw on the ground. Oh, is that you, Kermit? <laughs> Uncle B, I love that name. <laughs> Hi ho, Kermit the Frog. You'll be back, you're reloading in a different plane. Okay, cool, no problem, Joe. All right, let's go ahead and get up in the air. And as usual, I'll make a pattern, one pattern around the airport. Uh, I think I'll do a left. Yeah, left pattern around the airport. Give everyone ample time to get up in the air. 
as we make our way up the coast of Australia. This should, uh, according to Oz Nomad and just from looking at it on little nav map, this should be really, really scenic. Wait, am I on the wrong? Did I load in the wrong flight plan? No. Yeah, so we're going to start out flying inland and we'll fly a couple valleys and then we fly back to the coast. For a minute there, I thought I loaded the wrong flight plan. All right, do a left pattern out over the ocean and then we'll fly a heading of 268. Oh, uh, Chronico. Hey, Jack Link, welcome in. Good to see you. I totally missed your hello. I am so sorry. How are you doing, Jack? Man, I hope you didn't already leave. Like, what a jerk Scruffy is. He didn't even say hello back to me. I am so sorry about that. Your hello blended in with uh, Gare Bear and Uncle B's purple. I am so sorry. I promise I'm not a jerk if you're still here. Also, uh, oh, I see Chronico now as well. Chronico, did what I post, uh, what I posted in Discord, did that help? Hey, Swan, how are you doing? Good to see you. How are you? Hope you, hope you and your husband had a good week. Always good to see you. Welcome in. How's your school year going? So Swan is also an educator and Swan is e-pro enthusiast. I just uh, find it easier to say Swan just because I've known her by that name for a long time. Okay, good deal, man. I was I was wondering about that, Chronico, if it was if that was what you were looking for. So cool. Glad that helped. Uh, because I post it in uh, the Microsoft Flight Sim forums usually, but I don't think about posting it in my Discord, so I'll continue doing so. Okay, yeah, for sure. Anything I can do to help uh, engage other people with flying along, I'm, I'm totally down for it. All right, so we're going to fly inland for 31 nautical miles, and then we'll fly north through some valleys for a little while. On uh, the flight's altitude, no more than 3,000. I think in the mountains we'll need about 3,000 altitude, but, but nothing really crazy. 3,000 should be good, King Ken. Because other than flying to the mountains that we're heading to right now, we'll be flying the coast. Uh, good deal, Uncle B. I'm glad that helped. So I'll try to remember to continue to uh, post the the flight plans that I do on Sky Vector as well. And I thank you, Chronico, for pointing that out because I had no idea. And if you don't know, you don't know, right? It is a little bumpy out here, King Ken, for sure. Yeah, I've got a uh, 10 knot right quartering tailwind. And it's, yeah, it's blowing me around a little bit. It sure is. Dang, I feel really bad that I didn't speak to uh, Jack Link. So if any of y'all got, if any of y'all know Jack Link, if you see him on someone else's channel, please tell him I apologize. Oh, it always makes me feel like crap when I forget to, when I don't see someone's comment.
I think I'll go to the external view now for a little while. Are my flaps? Yeah, my flaps are up. Okay. So I think what I'll do at the first airport, or, or the second airport, I guess, because technically the first one is where we just were. Uh, at the second airport is when I'll unbox my gift and I'll tell who it's from and I'll unbox it. We'll see what's in there. I know a couple of the things that are in there, but I haven't, of course, seen them in person. And I feel like there's some other things in there. We'll see. Oh, no problem, Oz. You picked up the Tiger Moth yesterday and flew it around. Is it a fun plane? Nice. I may end up getting it as well. If I see that a lot of people are using it, you know, that are flying with me, I may end up buying it as well. Uh, but I am trying to be a little bit more frugal with my money as I save up for uh, Flight Sim Expo. Oh, is the Tiger Moth a bit slow? Tiger Moth is a high wing aircraft that looks, I mean, it's similar. It looks similar, I should say, to the 172, right? I do crowbar. I do have an area for videos in Discord. Um, uh, not sure what it's called, but yes, I do. You'll, oh, it's a biplane. What? Why, how did I not know that it was a biplane? I'm sorry. I totally screwed that up, didn't I? So what's the one that I'm thinking about that's a tail dragger? It's like a stripped down version of this that's named after an insect. I'm pretty sure there's one named after an insect. I just can't think of what it is. Is it a grasshopper? It's got a wonky engine configuration. Oh, cool. I definitely want to check that out then. I like wonky stuff. Okay, that's what I'm thinking the crowbar. I got the uh I got the tiger moth and the grasshopper confused is what I did. Speaking of classic planes, have you heard of a German group named Do X Vision? I have not. Says go. What's up? Says go. How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. How you doing today? Says go. Happy uh, almost weekend. Happy weekend eve. See ya. Hope you're doing well. Eve eve. Yeah. Well, it is. That's true. Some people get three day weekends though. I'm not one of those by the way, but yeah, it is, it is uh weekend Eve Eve. I still consider Friday the weekend though. Cause we work a shorter day on a Friday. Oh man, I could go for a four day weekend. Are oh, there a bunch of mad lads attempting to recreate the Dornier DOX, a large 12 engine flying boat. What? Dude, I got to look that up. How does something have 12 engines in it? How do they even make that work? That's crazy. Show us those. The class that you currently take only have you going to two class on Monday and one class on Wednesday. Everything else is online. Yeah. Uh, COVID, COVID caused a lot of that. Uh, COVID made everybody have to figure out how to do things online. Even us teaching automotive technology, how to fix vehicles. We had to learn how to teach that online. Thankfully we're back in person now, but it made it to where we can offer a degree 
doing hybrid work so you still do some stuff at home and you come to school for hands-on classes so my socks of the day on the right foot i've got my uh neon green i guess socks with pink aliens on them on the left foot green sock candy canes on it those are my socks of the day thank you for that command Yeah, it says go now. I have heard that complaint from several students. And yes, it is disappointing because, and, and I know you know this, says go, and probably most people do. People learn in different ways. Some people have to be in an in person class to be motivated enough, or not even just be motivated enough, but to be able to focus and learn. Uh, Personally, I think I would rather have in-person classes as well. I agree. It's hard for me to do an online class and focus because so much other stuff, like when we had to teach from home during COVID, it was hard for me to focus because I had <laughs> things to do here at home that I could, that I could do. I could eat, I could walk the dog, I could talk to the wife, I could, you know, play Nintendo, play on my computer, stream on Twitch. Uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's to me, it's more distracting to do online classes. Hey, Rolly Mall, how are you, dude? Good to see you. I'm an ass. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Rolly Mall, thank you. Good to see you. Rolly Mall is another flight sim streamer, an Australian friend uh, who who streams on Twitch. Also, go give Rolly Mall a follow. An Ibanez player. What's up, Ivanes? Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that. I'll let anybody in here. Ivanes is a great guy. I talked to Ivanes earlier in the week on Discord chat. Good to see Ivanes. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? Yeah, Ibanez is also a uh, flight sim streamer on Twitch. I don't know if I already said that. Good to see everybody. Doing much better now that you're here? Awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm back in the air now, um, playing catch up, um, but flying on my own for the moment, just waiting for you guys to pop back in. All right. Um, but just, just, just for some general info, as I say, we, we've just flown out of Bukai, huge sugar growing area here. Uh, as many of you probably already know, uh, Australia has a dark history too, um, concerning uh, its indigenous population. Uh, many of whom were massacred and thrown off their land and so forth uh, lots of years ago. But the, uh, the sugar growing industry had another um, sort of aspect to that. Um, there was a lot of uh, South Sea Islander, Pacific Islander labour employed on, on the sugar cane fields in the early days. Most of it, believe it or not, was kidnapped people. Wow. Um, uh, and something like um, 25% of those people brought over to work the sugarcane farms were dead within four years. Uh, I mean, ultimately it was outlawed and, and, and people were repatriated, but uh, it, it was a bad time. Wow. Didn't know that. I, I didn't know that about the indigenous people either. Um, I've been asked, thank you so much for gifting a sub to KW. KW, enjoy your gift sub, courtesy of um, I've been asked. Thank you so much for that. Um, wow. And uh, the flight's going really well, Ibanez. If you'd like to fly along, feel free to jump in and, and fly along with us. KW is awesome. Thank you for doing that. Now, there's a, there's a few little valleys and so forth we're going to be flying through at the start of this trip, to, just for years, graphic. <laughs> but this, this is like the uh, the tailing off of what's called the Great Dividing Range, which is really the, the mountain range that runs right from the, the south coast of Australia, almost down in uh, in Victoria in Melbourne, all the way up to uh, to Cape York uh, in the far north. 
but it does get um, lower and lower as you proceed further north. Okay. Yeah, super typhoon. I mean, we in the United States are not. Um, well, I was about to say I, I was about to say the wrong thing. We are also guilty of the same thing with our indigenous people here. So, uh, yeah, I think I think as as people were discovering different parts of the world, when they came across the indigenous people they didn't I don't know maybe it was just a different time and we didn't understand that people are people and we all have the same feelings I don't it's hard to explain anyways it's a shame that we didn't treat everybody the same all around the world it's not just the US not just Canada not just Australia and it still happens no, even to this day unfortunately yeah, you're right, Scruffy. It's it's something that applies almost everywhere in the world, and I think it it goes back to the time when those people were regarded as less than compared to the uh, uh, the more advanced um, 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 people that were coming to those places, and um, they were deemed to, to be uh, not worthy of consideration and, and just uh, disregarded. Yeah, uh, and again, comes back to like the. I think the um, advanced civilizations, uh, uh, the way they treat land, um, um, which is as just a resource or possession that's to be used, whereas you know most of the indigenous populations had a far more kind of harmonious relationship with the land they were living on, took care of it better, um, and so forth. Yep, you, you you said that very very well. That's what kind of what I was trying to say. You said it much better than I did, and I've been as yes. Oh. Um, I, I'm the same way Ivan is. Oh, go ahead, Oz. No, I was just going to say, sorry, we're, we're getting a little bit little bit into the area of politics here, so it's probably no, no. Um, enough said about that. Yeah. No, no, you're good. Um, I know. I mean, you didn't say anything that's that's uh, that I would think would be offensive to anybody. Um, no, personally, I mean, I, I have... Uh, all right, let me show my socks of the day really quick. Um, I have my own very, very strong religious and... Uh, political beliefs but just because where's my sock button there we go just because i believe a certain way doesn't mean that because you believe a different way that you're wrong whatever i accept everybody i mean i love hang on let me show my socks first and this is why this is one of the reasons why i wear mismatched socks uh, so on the right foot i've got my uh fluorescent green sock with pink aliens on the left foot my green sock with uh candy canes on them those are my socks of the day thank you for that Ivaness. but yes just like and this is why my discord is called the sock drawer just like a drawer filled with crazy mismatched socks we're all in this world Roger, together Roger, Victor, Victor. yeah me too gear bear when i saw him i had to buy those socks but we all live in this world together and why in the world we can't all just get along regardless of our beliefs is just beyond me or color of skin i mean yeah couldn't agree more scruffy i think you know any belief is fine you know but people are free to choose their own path in life uh, but when it comes if it comes to the point where you're forcing those beliefs on others then that's where the line needs to be drawn yes exactly and that's um, if I'm if if I understand correctly, that's part of why um, Captain Arash had stepped away from streaming for so long because in his native country of Iran, they are going through something similar to that. Yeah, he's having a hard time at the moment. Um, yep. He obviously feels very deeply about that. Yeah. Right, Ibanez, and I've had to, I mean, like, I've got friends in real life who who know my beliefs, and they have different beliefs than me, and we've had discussions about what I believe and what they believe, and we have just had to say, look, we're going to agree to disagree, we're still good friends, but who cares? Who freaking cares?
Yeah, exactly right. It's fine to disagree. Yeah. Life's too short to, to worry about those kind of things. On happier news, um, um, uh, lots of good news in Microsoft Flight Sim this week. Uh, a nice marketplace update today, a couple of new aircraft and some other things in there. The SU-11 is, uh, is in beta, which mm -hmm. is, is good. Um, lots of good stuff happening. Yeah, the uh, the Thunderbirds uh, actually are on, on beta, on beta 11. I haven't heard any good nor bad about it, but I did have someone in the uh flight sim forum events calendar sent me a message today asking me which version i was on 10 or 11 so i guess it's you know some people are getting it and i hope it's i hope it's a a good improvement again um yeah they seem to be taking their time over them more now rather than rushing them out every month which seems to be helping yes in kino Kino, dude, I, I totally, totally, totally get where you're coming from. Um, and, and, and trust me, I understand that any, pick any religion out of the world, any of them, and their claim is that they are the only way to whatever lies beyond this earth. And, and I've, what I believe is the same way, but who am i who am i to talk down to somebody or push my belief on you for it oh wow I'm, I'm i'm really gonna step over some boundaries now but i'm the streamer so i can do that <laughs> so if the, the way i see it is i want people to see how i live how i act and ask me why I live and I act and I talk and I everything that I do and then I can share it and not push it on anybody and I'm done I'm stepping off my soapbox and let's talk about how beautiful these mountains are <laughs> very beautiful dear old dad what's going on how are you dear old dad is very beautiful how you doing dad good to see you Oh, I'm cutting it close. Really, really close. Holy crap. Yeah, I need to climb because we still got a little bit, a little bit higher to go. Good deal. I'm glad you're doing good. Oh, it is. I didn't realize Sim Toolkit Pro was off. Why is it off? Hmm. Uh, hang on a minute. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, I wasn't connected. There we go. Sorry about that. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Dad. I really am doing doing really, really well. Yeah, so, um, okay, I already asked you and you said you're doing good. Good deal. We're definitely on East USA, by the way, Scruffy, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah. Cool. I I'm just going to switch back and forwards a bit. I'm, I'm still not seeing anybody. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, I even went back to, um, the flight sim events calendar to make sure I didn't accidentally post something different. Though Kino, I totally, I totally get where you're coming from. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally get it. I totally get it. You know, and, uh, yes, I have, I have seen that Personally, I have personally seen that. But dang it, just because, just because I've had a religious experience of my own doesn't mean that I'm any better than anybody else or I should look down on them. 
that is the ah, that's not what you should do for that very reason and i'm gonna i'm gonna shut up but yes you know um thank you for bringing that up and yes you bring a very very valid point forward i'm still fouling plugs oh it's because i'm i didn't realize i was as high up in the air as i am need to lean out a little bit there we go i fixed it that's one of the things just to finish this off maybe i like about the flight sim community we're flying with all sorts of different people with all sorts of different beliefs from all around the world and we all get on like a house on fire exactly exactly you know it's funny because i saw on um No, Kino, I'm, I'm glad that you could come and vent. No worries at all. Um, I saw someone on Twitter. Oh, you loving the G1000 NX, NTX? Nice, but I love my six pack. I love the gauges. Um, I saw on, on Twitter, someone talking about how Twitch was just a bunch of drama. I'm like, what? You're not in my world because there is no drama. But yeah, um, Oz, that's a good point. The uh, the flight sim community is just amazing. Oh, I love that uh, animated emote you got there, Planet Neutral. Good stuff right there, my friend. No time to hate. Love it. Is that yours? Whose is that? Yeah, it is. It's Planet's nice. yeah 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 i know there is oh trust me i know there is in the other parts of twitch but it's just another you know really life's too short for drama oh i was wondering about that twitchy a uh, twitch yeah twitchy when you said uh ntx nxi gotcha yeah, I love that Planet Neutral. Very good uh, animated emote. Oh, Gear Bear, you got my livery on? Nice. So flying along tonight, something I haven't done yet. And um, Oz, you were so kind to put valleys in here and I'm just flying right over the top of the mountains. <laughs> I'm flying along tonight. We got uh, Jurdot, Nova Stuff, Crazy Edison, Chronico, uh struck vase welcome back kermit the frog uh crunch 888 adept donut you're making me hungry uh kenzo oz gear bear welcome in everybody thank you for flying along it's, it's okay scruffy i have it on good authority that there's no rules on this channel so you can fly how you like <laughs> where'd you get that from <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy flying a little bit higher sometimes just so you get the overall kind of panoramic view. Um, um, I mean, flying in the valleys is, is great too, but uh, to get the bigger picture sometimes, you need to go a little bit higher. I do too. I agree. I agree. Infinite Fireman, thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Trump monkey, what's happening? Good to see you. Oh, was it hectic? So, uh, Infinite Fireman was over on Dippo's channel, um, doing some uh, flying in Bat Sim. So, what'd you think about it? Is he still? Yeah, Dippo's still on. Okay. What's up, Crunk Monkey? How are you doing? Thank you for dropping the base. Hope you're doing well. Happy weekend, Eve, Eve. Unless you are off on Fridays or work partial day on Fridays. In that case, happy weekend, Eve. Oh, yeah, Infinite Fireman. I've done one 
I've done one VAT sim flight at an airport in Canada, if I'm not mistaken, it was, that had no one there and only one tower controller. And it was, it was intimidating, even with just me and the controller. But, like everything else, with practice, you get familiar with it, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, Twitchy, I can I can get that. I can totally I can totally believe that. You've done two VAT sim flights at this point. Both were flying into Boston. Holy crap. Oh well Sheen was controlling. Nice. Oh my gosh, yeah. Boston? What? Boston's a super busy airport. It's a different experience, even flying VFR. But I can't imagine flying IFR on VATSIM and having to file a proper flight plan and stuff would be super in intimidating. Oh, you flew into Boston last night? Nice. Was that, uh, was she, was she, um, controlling then? Dear old dad. Oh, you flew IFR both times? Yeah, the... Oh, you flew IFR both times? Wow. I've only flown IFR once. And that was the one time that I flew the 737... 600? 700? Yeah, I think it's the 700s. The 737-700 when uh, Two-Tone Murphy jumped in, thank the Lord, and saved my... Saved me... <laughs> Okay, the confession of utter stupidity to make here. Sure. I just realized that my, that my name plate's turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I may have done that before. Just, I just spotted some flashing lights up ahead of me, and the navigation lights. I thought, oh, what's going on? Oh, no. <laughs> Microsoft, I take back everything I just said about you. <laughs> Yeah, Twitchy, I don't either. And uh, yeah, Infinite Fireman, practice it and you'll be fine. I mean, practice makes perfect. And really having someone like Dippo um, and some of the other ones, uh, Meredith, which she's taken some time away. Meredith is a very patient, very helpful uh, tower controller as well on Twitch. Um, Arch NDA, uh, if you let him know, uh, he, he'd be very helpful and patient as well. So there are some really good controllers uh, that are that are patient and willing to you know to help you. Boston airspace is just the perfect distance from Toronto for you and the sim. Don't like long hauls. Gotcha. I understand. And you know that's one of the things, Kino. Yeah, Nomad. That's right. I forgot about Nomad. Sheesh. I was just in Nomad's channel earlier today, or was that yesterday? must have been yesterday um no nomad's awesome and he is a real tower controller in real life and he also controls the tower on stream that he controls in real life which which i think is just freaking cool oh yeah thank y'all for following each other too i love that when that happens So my very first VAT sim flight, like I said, it was at an airport in Canada. I spent a long time checking for an airport that uh, had a very little air traffic and had a tower controller. I spent a long time looking for one. Finally found one and I just listened for a little while because one plane was coming in. So I just listened 
And several times I went to mic up and, and say, you know, my thing. And just, I don't know why it's so intimidating, but it, I sat here literally for like a half hour trying to gain the courage to speak when I talk for three hours at a time every time I stream, but I couldn't talk on Vatsim. What? Yeah, but another thing, uh, you know, what you were saying about you didn't really care for GA flying, uh, that's another thing I love about Flight Sim is there's so many different niches uh, within the Flight Sim community. The GA people like myself, the airliner people, um, the the bush flyers, uh, the VATSIM controllers, the VATSIM flyers. Uh, it, it's wild. There's always something. Too many streamers, not enough hours in the day, basically. Yeah, exactly. You're you're exactly right. Oh, I did misunderstand what you said, Kino. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, if Iron Man, that's what I did. I sat there for a half hour, just waiting to say, uh, "Can I get a mic check?" And like my voice is so deep and commanding and I sounded like when I did my mic check. Can I get a mic check, please? Is how I felt like I sounded. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, in, in real life, um, when I started using HF radio on my travels uh, in the outback in Australia, you sort of you know, you, you hear everybody else talking on the channel. And you want to call in and to the base station and report in and you you kind of sit there for ages like almost <laughs> pressing the mic button but not quite exactly exactly so this airport will be a full stop uh yankee bravo yankee bravo papa november it's gonna be a full stop i've got a uh, yeah n not like the end of the stream but i'm gonna i'm gonna stop there because i've got a package that came in the mail tuesday and i um, curious, I know what's in it. I know some of what's in it, but I wanted to do a live unboxing. I think it's the first time I've ever done a live unboxing by something that a viewer sent me. And I'll tell you who it was and we'll see what it is once we land here. Oh no, I'm dropping things. What's up Kev Sim Corner? How are you doing? Kev Sim Corner, welcome in. Uh, Kev is a, an ATC truck driver. On his channel he streams on twitch and on facebook if you're on facebook please please go give kev sim corner a follow also follow him on twitch he really is a, a very engaging a great uh a great guy really good guy oh did i say i did say atc <laughs> ATS, ATS truck driver, American truck sim. Sheesh, what the heck? Oh, Death Crow. I really, really wanted to rip it open as soon as I got here. ATF, right? Drinking the Kool-Aid tonight. What's up, Wired? Uh, Death Crow, how are you doing, man? Let me give some shout outs really quick to Wired and Death Crow. How are y'all doing? American truck courier. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing better than me, but I have an excuse. I have an excuse. Icebird will love this if Icebird's in here. Um, I got up at 4 a.m. this morning and it's 9 p.m. So I've been up for a while. That's my excuse. Yeah, I got up at 4 a.m. this morning. So we had a... um. The governor of South Carolina had electric vehicle summit this morning, uh, an hour away from us. And it started at seven 30 in the morning and our school wanted myself and our department head to go to it. So got up at 4 AM so we could meet at the school at 6 AM and drive to the event. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. Your wife was cutting big trees. Oh yeah, I always cut big trees in my sleep. I wake myself up sometimes doing that.
Maintain 60 and stay in the right lane until the exit. Oh my word. By the time stream is over tonight, there's no telling what I may say. Yeah, thank you for the sound yes. alert. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Hey, THF, how you doing? Good to see you. What's going on? Good evening. Happy Thursday evening. Friday, uh, weekend Eve Eve or Friday Eve. How are you? Oh, we got more than one runway at this airport. Yeah, it looks like just used one. Oh, they just used one. Oh yeah, I see that now. Okay, yep, we're good. Noob, what's up, Noob? How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Noob, Noob Variety is a fellow streamer. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. There's a shout out for Noob. Go give him a follow. Wombi. Wombi is amazing. Uh, really, uh, an, an amazing creator of a lot of things in Flight Sim. What's up, Cyber Tiger? How are you doing? Welcome in. Thank you for the first time chat. Yeah, noob. What's going on with you, man? How are you? Really, really good to see you. Uh, Cyber Tiger, welcome in. Thank you for the first time chat. And uh, Tiger, if you'd like to fly along with us and anyone else, this goes for anybody in chat. If you'd like to fly along with us, I'm about to land at a Yankee Bravo Papa November and we're on US East server. Uh, this is going to be a full stop and I've got a uh, unboxing I'm going to do of a gift that a viewer sent me. I might not even say who it is until I open it. Oh, you're not that good at it. Oh, Cyber Tiger. Um, it, it took me a while to get good at it, but I love it. Oh, nice noob. No problem with that at all. It's good to see you though, man. How's, how's Brittany doing? Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Kev, if work starts at four 30, dude, that's, that's rough. Don't blame you at all. Yeah. Go to bed, get some sleep. Thank you for jumping in and saying hello, Kev. Always good to see you, my friend. Sleep good and have a good day at work tomorrow. Oh, THF, you're playing train sim world too. Nice. Oh yeah. Cyber tiger. It takes, um, when you first, and thank you for letting me know that you're a streamer, by the way. Um, I don't mind self-promotion at all. So y'all go give Cyber Tiger a follow. Uh, let me let me give you a shout out really quick, Cyber Tiger. I just followed you so that I can check out your streams and see what you're all about. Uh, thank you, Kev. No, 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 Cyber Tiger. I know you didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I love supporting other streamers. So no, don't don't take it that I'm that I'm upset with you for um for 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 saying that. I love shouting out other people. So No, I knew you were just saying that. No, no, no. I know that. Uh have you have you hit affiliate yet? 
yeah i mean i know a lot of streamers are like don't be coming in here and uh self-promoting and to an extent i don't mind it at all so i'm glad that you said what you did so that so that we can get you some follows it's okay cyber tiger i wasn't good at it when i first started either nice y'all helped them get to 100 followers thank you thank you for supporting another streamer thank y'all for that i'm all about supporting other streamers um and i i hope flights with Joel, what's up i hope that that i never i hope my channel never grows big enough where i feel like i don't have to shout out and support other streamers because i love supporting others flights with joel is another good friend of the community what's up flights with joel how are you doing raid not the bug spray what's up joel how are you flights with joel is another awesome flight sim streamer joel this evening was flying the new Flodiac, the new kodiak on floats how was it how was it joel i was lurking when i first started streaming um well actually i was lurking from for a while on your stream i'm pretty pretty sure i know i was when i first started streaming tonight you love it awesome awesome let me give uh there's a shout out for joel right there see so i'll go give uh, flights with joel a follow well deserved he's a great guy um i was a guest on his podcast months ago now wow that time flies but he's a great streamer good friend and I can't wait to meet you at FS Expo also. Oh, it's broke a bit, but not your not your fault. Yeah, I bought it yesterday. Oh, thank you, Cyber Tiger, for following uh, Flights with Joel. You need to work on it. You didn't do that great. I bought it. Uh, Whenever it came out, was it yesterday that it came out? Yeah, not my best landing. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, 86, I'll take that. Oh, good advice, Kino very good advice oh thf you're playing train world three nice yeah you've had it for what about a month or two now glad you're enjoying it and thank you for that advice uh you know to um to cyber tiger i know as a new streamer um if you're open to advice and it sounds like you are open to advice take all the advice you can All right, so I'm just gonna park right here and put on my part brake, and then I'll do the unboxing. Thank you, Kino. I really, really do appreciate that, man. Really kind. All right, part brake is on. Uh, I'm gonna jump to the external view, see who all's out here. We got a nice little crew flying along with us. Uh, those that came in on the raid, if you are not familiar with me, and those of y'all that are new to the channel, uh, my name is Scruffy Tam. <laughs> my name in real life isn't Scruffy Tam, but uh, I'm Scruffy Tam on Twitch. I play a pilot on Twitch. I've been a uh, gamer since the late 1970s. I'm 54 years old. I started streaming on Twitch in September of 2020, and I've um, been a flight simmer since September 2021. Welcome in so i've been teasing this i've been teasing this i got this in the mail oh no problem steve i got this in the mail um tuesday if, if y'all can see this see this gift here uh this box got it in the mail tuesday and i know what it is but i'm not gonna open it right now i'm gonna wait till the next airport <laughs> just kidding oh paparazzi i do that um i've done do that more than i should all right here we go it's uh it's taped up really really good lord 
<laughs> you know. Uh, it's taped up really good, but I know it came from overseas. Actually, uh, it came from Austria. Anyone want to guess? Anyone want to guess who sent this to me? It came from Austria. Imagine if it was a rail driver. <laughs> Beer Stein. New socks. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's got to be socks, right? If it's for me, it's got to be socks. But who sent it? Who do you think sent it? So, yes, it is. It is a new pair of socks. It is a new pair of hand knitted socks. And yes, you are correct. Kaharia, um, Kaharia's mom hand knits these socks. And so, um, when she saw that I wore mismatched socks, yes, these are hand knitted. Uh, so she's, she made me a pair of mismatched socks. The first pair she sent me were matching and she saw that I did mismatch. So she said, I need to make him some mismatched ones and send them. Uh, Cyber Tiger, we are right here. So um, the closest airport will always be showing in the upper right hand corner. So, oh, is that you, Infidel Fireman? So we're at Yankee Bravo Papa November. Now, that's not all that's in the box. That's not it. She was so kind. Her mom is so kind. She even made my wife, she made my wife some as, holy crap, these are soft. Wow, these things, these are soft, really soft. Extra yarn too, just in case a hole gets in one of them. So two pairs of socks, two pairs of socks for my wife. Uh, one, one purple and one uh, dark purple, maybe lavender. So two pairs of socks for my wife, one pair for me, which is two pairs because she already sent one and Let me tell you, this right here, this right here is some good stuff. This is some good stuff right here. Really, really good chocolate. It's, um, it's, it's nougat. It's good. Let me do this. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This stuff right here is delicious. It's delicious. Oh yes, I love chocolate. What's up, Buzzing Chair? How are you doing? Good to see you. So yes, huge, huge, huge thanks to Kaharia and Kaharia's mom. Oops. For the uh, for the gifts, um, Kaharia's mom. This is the second set of second set of socks that she sent me. And then she was kind enough to send my wife a pair of socks too. I know Kaharia and her mom are both probably in bed right now sleeping. But one more thing. I wanted to read this note. She always sends a note with it as well. Let me um Nice. Okay. So <laughs> Let me read this note really quick and then we'll then we'll get up in there. Spy guy it was very, very kind. Um, hello and greeting from the other side of the world. So Kaharia is in Austria. I'm in South Carolina in the United States. Hope you're doing fine. First things first. A big hug from mom and I'll t and and I'll tell you it was a pleasure for her to knit these socks, knitting these socks. Since we could not decide which of the colors the missus would like more, mom made a pair each. So I, she asked me what color my wife liked, and my wife loves purple, as do I. And so be, because they couldn't decide which color purple my wife would like, they made two pairs of each of the color of purple, which is just amazing. Um... I also, again, put in some Viennese chocolate in addition, which I love. Thank you for that. 
Um, you were. I'm. Can't read that part. Um, well, let's see how long it will take the postal service to give it to you. Sorry, it to took a while to to um, to make them. Oh no, to make it to the postal service. So see you next stream. Greetings also to the missus. Big hugs, Kaharia. That is so awesome. Very, very kind. Kino, good to see you, my friend. Take care of yourself. Nomad Aviator, we were talking about you earlier. How are you, dude? You're very welcome, man. I'm sorry that I'm, I've been a little scarce on everyone's streams just because of work and life. Uh, but Nomad Aviator is a fellow um, Twitch streamer. He controls the tower on VatSim that he controls in real life. He's a tower controller in real life. Good to see you, Nomad. Yeah, dude, it's... Life's just crazy. Life's crazy. All right, let's get up in the air. So um, I thought that was very, very kind of both Kaharia and her mom. Let's see. Uh, whoops, I hit a wrong button. Kino, thank you for gifting a sub to Aviator. So we got a lot of people flying along tonight. Kino, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Nomad Aviator. Nomad, welcome and enjoy your sub socks. All right, let's get up in the air. Um, flaps need to be up. Kino, gifting a sub to Oz. Oh, you know what? I should have done that. Let's get it to an even 10. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, dude. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the support. Again, like I say, every stream, it's uh, it's viewers like, like you and everyone else who allow me to get this equipment that I have and allow me the opportunity to go to Flight Sim Expo next year so I can meet everybody. Mark Kids, welcome in. How are you doing? We're flying in Australia this evening. I'm, I'm sure you saw that on the stream title. How are you? Uh, dude, let me check, dude. That's a, that's a good question. Hang on a minute. Uh oh, wait, I made a wrong turn. No, we're good. Okay. What's up, Beelzy? How are you doing? Uh, dude, so the airport. Let me just take a quick peek. Yes, yes, they will be. One of them at least, um, dude, fly now. So the next airport is going to be. Well, there is one that's that's a bush, pretty much a bush airport, but we're flying into Hamilton, which is YB. Yankee Bravo Hotel Mike and the final airport. Yeah, that's probably the the only one. I mean, it'll be a challenge for you, but you you, you should be able to do it. What's up, Chunky? How are you doing? What's up, Dwarven Egg? How are you doing, man? So my socks of the day. Um, sheesh, got all kinds of stuff going on. How's everyone doing? You're in Narita. You're a 763 pilot. Oh, nice. Well, welcome in, Mark kids. I'm a pretend pilot. I wish I could say I was a pilot in real life. I'm not. Welcome in. I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer, and I've been uh, streaming Flight Sim for a little over a year. My socks of the day are um, on the right foot right here. I've got my alien socks. Left foot, I've got candy canes. Those are my socks of the day. Oh yeah, you're gonna try 747? Yeah, do it, do it. It's a lot of fun seeing the uh, jetliners flying. So uh, Dwarven Egg, how are you doing, man? I saw you streaming earlier. In fact, I lurked on your channel. Was it yesterday or today that you were streaming? It was yesterday, it was yesterday evening. And I was lurking because I was running sound at a children's event. How have you been, man? Good to see you, Dwarven Egg. So now we're going to fly a heading of 79 degrees, 79. As we head out over the ocean into some islands. I do have Oz Nomad, who is a resident of 
Australia in voice chat tonight and he's he's our vocal tour guide teaching us all the things we're flying over so if you hear a voice other than mine no I'm not a ventriloquist or even a very good um whatever you want to call it yes he is <laughs> um let's see here chunky chunky aviation um chunky i did not give you a proper welcome chunky aviation is the leader of the flight sim thunderbirds uh the flight sim thunderbirds are the flight sim equivalent of the the air force thunderbirds in real life uh they perform just like the real thunderbirds do on uh, except on twitch uh, we got a big air show and i am thunderbird number eight by the way um the uh, narrator for the thunderbirds we got a big air show coming up november the 19th the flight sim air festival it's going to be on the microsoft flight sim official channel even if you can't make it live to that event oh thank you infidel fireman if you can't make it live to the event um be sure you watch the vod the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim official told us that the last air show they had was the most watched of any of their streams ever. And that's saying something. What's up, Lumi? How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Lumi is also another Illuminator, is also a Flight Sim streamer. You'll find him on Vat Sim over on his channel and uh, doing, some, uh, doing some flying. Good to see you. How you doing, Illuminator? Um, let's see here. Uh, BLZ. I saw BLZ as well. A bunch of people came in all at once. So if I forget to mention you, please forgive me. Uh, but BLZ on Twitch uh, is actually over on Trovo now. BLZ is a long, long time member of the community here. And uh, is threatening to do a Microsoft Flight Sim stream over on Trovo. I think he'll be breaking some ground over there, dude. More so than usual. Good deal, man. Give yourself a shout out, Bilzy. You're doing, I'm doing fantastic, Lumi. Doing really, really well, thank you. Speaking of air show, two cats managed to show off the Harrier and had Dean from DC Designs in Discord. Oh, nice. That's really cool. I need to catch some more of two cat streams. He streams usually um, afternoon my time, which is when I'm at the busiest at work. So I, I rarely get to see two cats. Oh, uh, Infidel Fireman, he's actually on Trovo now. So I let him shout himself out with a custom with a custom shout out. So he'll he'll post the link. He was talking about coming back to Twitch, but he's he's not on Twitch currently. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so glad you pull up your stream to remind yourself to turn off multiplayer before you fly again. Oh, why? There you go, BLZ. Thank you. So I uh, go give BLZ a follow. He is on Trovo, uh, which is another streaming platform on, on the internet. And he is doing a darn good job over there. Oh, you still might be making a comeback. Okay. All right. Well. And also, I know y'all probably get sick of me. Oh, gotcha, Lumi. That makes sense. I know y'all probably get sick of me talking about Flight Sim Expo, but the reason I'm bringing up Flight Sim Expo so much is one, I'm a media partner, so it's my job to pump it up. But also, um, it's in Houston, Texas. And I know for a lot of people, you'll have to, you know, you might need to save up money to get the hotel reservations or the flight or drive or whatever. So I want to give you plenty of advance notice about Flight Sim Expo so that you can be there because I'll be there. I want to meet you. I want to meet all the other streamers as well. 253 days, but you're not counting. Oh man, I am so excited about it. So excited about it. Good deal, BLZ. Thank you, man. Else 
Uh, is it being streamed? I think so, Lumi. To my knowledge, it is being streamed. Um, tell you what, though. Type in FSE. Let's see here. Check that link out right there. I'm pretty sure someone told me uh, the same thing you did, and that they're gonna they're gonna watch it virtually. And if you live, uh, if you're planning on going, whoever plans on going, um, registration is fairly inexpensive to the event. Registration to the event is inexpensive. And I can also get you a 10% discount on that reservation using my special code, ScruffyTam. Imagine that. Me having a special code named ScruffyTam. What? The madness. I think you can sign up to watch virtually. I don't know how that works, but I'm pretty sure you can, Oz. All right, so we got a uh, Squally Chumboob, Oz Nomad, Gare Bear, Jerdot. Let's see who else. Swing it around. The Buzzing Chair, Nova Stuff, Kenzo, Chronico. I can't quite see the rest of the names. Paparazzi, Crunch. All flying along with us. Now, normally, normally, I don't fly through clouds, but tonight, because it's just kind of scattered clouds, we'll fly through them. Oh, no problem, Uncle B. I totally get it. No problem, man. Feel free to hang out as long as you'd like to. You're taking off in a heavy. Nice. Nice. I'm sure you'll catch up with no problem at all. Being UK based, you hope it would be streamed. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be streamed, BLZ. I'm not 100% sure. But I do know some UK streamers that are flying over. But... I also know it's super expensive. That's pretty cool having the F-14 go through your windshield. <laughs> nice, nice. Now the registration for online. Oh, you know what? I remember seeing that now. The registration for online, I don't think the discount will have worked for that. I'm pretty sure the the discount is for in-person only. I'm Pretty sure I read that somewhere. But I will say in-person registration is very, very reasonable. And the reason I said that is I'm assuming that the online will also be just as reasonable, hopefully. Yes, for sure, man. For sure. Oh, nice, paparazzi. Yeah, I can't wait to meet you. And, um, uh, I mean, there's plenty of time to say this before flight sim expo but i want everybody to know this i am i am me whether i'm streaming or in person and i don't want you to ever feel intimidated to come up and say hi or anything um i want you to come you know if i see you um, i'm probably not going to know who you are but if you see me Come speak to me. Tell me who you are. I'd love to meet you. So please, please, please come see me. Can we use the socks command in real life? Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's, oh, dude, that is so funny. I need to make, I've been thinking about making t-shirts 
and that'd be hilarious to have exclamation socks on the back of the shirt and then i'll well i'll be wearing shorts so i was gonna say i'll lift up my pants leg but i'll be wearing shorts it's summertime in texas trust me don't look me in the eyes joel i have a i have a feeling that very few people are gonna be able to look me in the eyes well i can't say very few but i'm not that tall oh, i think we'll, we'll we'll all get a pain in the neck if we try and do that won't we <laughs> Yeah, and Spider Steve says uh, registration is really cheap if you manage to sneak by security. Okay, uh, you might need to change your weather a bit here. Yeah, Scotty. I was... Uh... <laughs> we're, we're just coming up um, um, towards the um, Whitsunday Islands now. It's a truly beautiful part of central Queensland. A group of about 74 islands just off the coast here. Um, most of them are fairly unspoilt. There's some limited camping on, on those. Um, but there are a handful with uh, swanky five-star resorts on them too. And there's just loads of beautiful bays and inlets and so forth um, scattered around these islands. As you fly over, you'll be able to see that uh, a favorite way of visiting these islands is to, uh, by by sailing boat people just sail around uh, drop anchor in a bay overnight um, <clears throat> and, and move around the islands in that way wow uh, i would think an amphibious aircraft would be another good option too yeah i'm thinking goose or the widge and jump in it and, and do that and just sleep in it overnight and take off the next day Oh man, the watercolor, yeah, like paparazzi said, the watercolor is just amazing. Yeah, it's all beautiful as your waters here. Wow. What? Fly of the I world mean, now, you're doing an amazing job keeping that jet low and slow. That's that's funny. Hello. Is it me? Yeah, as we fly over in the sin, you, you, you will actually see um, boats moored in, in some of these bays as we go around. Oh, nice. I can't think of a better way to spend my time. That would be beautiful. Infinite Fireman, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Thank you for all that you do, man. Yeah, dude, that's pretty awesome. You're doing a great job flying it low and slow, too. I mean, you're doing really good flying it super slow for what it is. Oh, Squally's in a Tomcat. Heck yeah. Nice flyby, Squally. Which brings me to um, what I usually say a lot, but I don't think I've said it today. Uh, if you would like to fly along, fly what you want to and fly how you want to. My slogan here is no rules, just flight. So if you want to buzz me in a dark star, it mock whatever or do aerobatics right on the nose of my plane feel free to i love it i just I, I want you to be happy i love planes and i know you love planes and flying so fly what you want to and fly how you want to cold fork thank you for a gift to paparazzi oh cyber tiger you right on my tail nice Good deal, good deal. Oh yeah, I see you right now. And you're in uh, Cessna as well. Cole Fork, how are you doing? Colonel Fork is a another flight sim streamer. Great friend of the community. Um, Y'all, go give Colonel Fork a follow. Cole Fork 85. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Paparazzi. That's 16 gift subs you've given. What? Thank you, man. I appreciate the support, Colonel Fork. And uh, give me just a minute and I'll give uh, Colonel Fork a shout out. 
Oh, dude. Um. Wow. Colonel Fort, Colonel Fort, my condolences. Um, lost my dad in 2009. So I can say that I know, I know how you feel. Um, it's, it's tough losing a parent. If you want to, if you need to message me or whatever, I'll be glad to talk to you off, you know, on uh, discord or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's tough. Thank you, Oz. That's, that is very kind. Good deal, man. My dad's birthday was uh, October 20th, 1941. And all I'll, I'll, I mean, the main thing I remember about when he, when he started getting sick, so he got, he got brain cancer, was diagnosed with brain cancer in September of 2009. And we lost him uh, Thanksgiving Eve of 2009. It's how quickly uh, the brain cancer took him out. But I'll never forget in the hospital, as soon as an, a nurse or doctor would walk in, he would immediately say 10, 20, 41, because that's what everyone always asked him first. What's your birthday? So, um, anytime I'm ever in a hospital, that's the first thing I re first thing I think about is dad saying 10, 20, 41. No, man, you're not raining on the parade. No worries at all. And yes, Colonel Fork has awesome streams as well. Now, Oz, how many islands did you say we're out here? 90 something? Uh, it, it's, it's somewhat indeterminate because it's, it's sort of disputed depending on who you talk to, how many are actually within this group, but I reckon around 75 or so. Oh, okay. I'm going to fly out just a little bit and check out some of these other ones that are a little outliers. But wow, yeah, this is beautiful. And I can imagine jumping in a boat, you know, from the mainland coming over here. And like you said, just setting up camp or fishing overnight. Nice flybys there, guys. Uh, Y-L-I-N. Let me see where... I don't think that one is. Uh, that's a really small... Yeah, that's a really small Bush airport. It's just going to be a touch and go at LYN. <laughs> at Yankee, Lima, India, November. Easy for me to say. Cyber Tiger just trying to fly straight. Hey, I understand. Hey, Jay Winokur, how are you doing? Good to see you, my dude. Hope you're doing well. Oh, no. Really? You? I didn't realize you could overheat your motor in active pause either. I did find out the hard way that you can run out of fuel in active pause, but I didn't know you could overheat your motor in active pause. That's interesting. You're relaxing and having a good night. Good deal, man. Let me give you a shout out. Jay Winokur is a fellow flight sim streamer on Twitch as well. Um, I love how the flight sim community is made up of a lot of other flight simmers and how we all support each other also. So, um, when I say go give them a follow, um, I, I do. I, I ask that everyone go give them a follow. Well, let's support each other. Oh, you just finished a Tomcat stream. Nice. How'd it go? How was it? Oh, 
Oh, did you really? You took off and landed on the moving carrier? Dude, congratulations. I have not even attempted that yet. Oh, man, I bet that was a fun time. I'm going to have to go back and watch the VOD. This little cove right here looks like it would be a fun place to have a big party. Flying over these uh, beautiful beaches and bays you know, makes me seriously want to jump out of the plane and go for a swim. <laughs> Don't do it, Oz. Don't do it. <clears throat> really is beautiful. And, and look at the, the water right there in the big beach. No, no, I can't, I can't jump out today. I forgot my parachute and my GoPro. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got to plan those things and act like it wasn't planned. Hey, so, just a heads up. I noticed that there's a, there's a helicopter finally arrived in, in the marketplace today. Really? Wow, I didn't think that was happening until November. Well, what a not, surprise. From, not from MS. This, this appears oh. to be from a third party developer. So how they've made it work, I'm not sure. And it's a, a funny looking thing with, uh, I think it's got floats and two rotor blades, one on top of the other, but looks interesting. Oh, that's cool. You're headed for YLAK to land and change aircraft yeah exactly dude i mean good job flying it but yeah it would be difficult to do on a flight like this so my streams are almost exclusively general aviation and 99 percent of the time in the um 172 just because i love this plane so much every now and then you'll see me in a kit box if it comes you know if, if i'm flying somewhere where there's a lot of mountains and a lot of valleys where I feel like I need to climb really quick or land really fast, then I'll fly the kit box. And one time, one time, I did fly a 747. But I will do that again soon. Sometime before, I'll say this, sometime before Flight Sim Expo, I'm going to recreate my flight to Flight Sim Expo in the uh, 747. 700 or the 900 if it comes out by then and then the uh phoenix a320 because those are the planes i'll be flying in i'm just flying over the airstrip at uh, hamilton island at the moment this is one of the more developed islands there's uh, definitely a, a swanky five-star expensive resort on this uh, this island along with a, uh, a fairly large marina for people to park their boats oh nice this is the one with a small airport on it that's the one you're talking about no no it's the next one after that oh, okay so this will just be a touch and go right here wow what a short runway holy crap Yeah, dude, love to have you join me uh, for that flight and any other flight that, that you'd like to join me on, feel free to. How hard was that? Yeah, 248. That was a little rough. But the well, next... two runways there. I think, I think you chose the shorter one. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> the next... Uh, airport will be a full stop. I got to take a pee break once we get to this next airport. And refill my water too. My mouth's getting dry. I'm out of water. Uh, which one is next? Chronico, it is YBHM. Yankee Bravo Hotel Mike. That looks like it's a uh, international airport. 
You're welcome. Yeah, I think they fly um, commercial jets into here for the for the resort. Yeah. The smakiness. And yeah, it's just a single runway. Okay. Wow, look at this island. It's kind of fish, kind of fish shaped in a way. That'd be a great place to live until a hurricane or typhoon comes through. Or you need groceries. Or you get you mad at your wife and you want to leave for a few minutes. There's nowhere to go. I love the uh, where the planes don't disappear. I'm loving it. Yeah, it really does. Euchre's looks really, really nice. One of the favorite, one of my favorite things that Microsoft Flight Sim did with that last update was make it where the planes didn't disappear close to each other. I love that. Oh no, Super Typhoon, you had another lag spike? Nice flyby in the Tomcat. All right, now let me get my flaps down, get inside the plane bring my altitude down wow i'm really high oh there's uh someone in the kit box up there is that crunch crunch is in a kit box nice oh oh jp navigator how are you doing good to see you welcome in happy thursday to you oh you almost thought you were gonna blue screen oh that would suck Parallel 42 has recreated the lake where Halloween originally took place. I can't remember the name of the lake. The camp. The camp in the lake. I have got to get that. In fact, I may look it up while we're on the ground and I'll show it to you. Happy birthday? Not my birthday. How you doing, JP? Welcome in. Did I did I say happy birthday to you? If I did, I didn't mean to. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Oh, your birthday's December 4th. Nice. There's a lot of stuff going on December 4th. That's on a Sunday. My wife's work's Christmas party is that day. Um, we've got another party scheduled with some friends that same day as well. That's how I know it's on a Sunday. Oh, you just had another COVID shot so you can't sleep. Ooh, that was a, that was another rough landing. If you look to the right as you come in on the runway, you'll, you'll see some uh, buildings over there. I've got a feeling that's the the staff accommodation tucked away there. <laughs> oh, really? The five-star resort is kind of around the headland to the right. Oh, yeah. Whoa, I'm going a little fast. 
There we go. Classy, how are you doing, Classy? Good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Thursday to you. Soxiest man alive. Give me just a minute and I'll show you my socks of the day. I love my new socks. They are so freaking comfortable. Um, so the five star hotel is right there, Oz. Now, if you continue sort of down the runway and then hook over to the right as you as you fly out, you'll see it sort oh, okay. of around around the headland and they're tucked away from uh, uh, prying eyes of, 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 of anyone. Okay. And, and probably to protect the resort from the sound of uh, thunderous jets coming in and out too. Oh, true. True that. Yep. Um, paparazzi, good job on the no ELT landing. Congratulations. JP, sleep well, my friend. Thank you for jumping in and saying hello. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yeah, and it definitely, definitely don't mean the sock thing to be a fetish. Although I do... I, I am kind of, I love socks. I love socks. Uh, on the right foot, I've got my, uh, knit, whatever they are, fluorescent green socks with uh, pink aliens. Left foot, green socks with candy canes on them. Those are my socks of the day. Oh yeah, thank you, Classy. So let me look up something really quick I want to show you guys. Um, this is really cool. Just released by Parallel 42. I just got to find it. Let's see here products can i search parallel 42 let's see if i can do this what oh wait is that it right there nope okay hang on a minute So Parallel 42 um, is coming out, or has, has came out with a scenery for the Halloween movie. You must be dull, you just have gray socks. <laughs> oh, Cyber Tiger, you gotta go to bed. 4.30 comes earlier. Yeah, hey, I understand. I'm getting up at uh, 5.30 tomorrow myself. I totally understand. Sleep well, my friend. Okay, I'm just going to have to find it on Discord. This is embarrassing. E42 announcements. There it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Y'all check this out. Check this out. Oh, paparazzi, you got to go out too. No problem. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's, uh, no, it's Halloween. It's Camp, Camp Crystal Lake. Give me just a second. I'm pretty sure. There we go. All right. So this Halloween, an invite to 42 CL Camp Crystal Lake, if you dare. Oh, Friday the 13th. I am so sorry. You're correct. You're correct, Spider Steve. Sorry about that. Is there... Okay, there is no trailer. I thought there might be a trailer for it. Friday the 13th turned 42 this year. Um, from the creators of Shark Tooth Ridge, for one night only, one company, one twisted team, invites you to 42 CL camp crystal lake you know the name you've heard the story this halloween prepare for the day everybody fears camp crystal lake is to jason what elm street is to freddy krueger on a stormy night in 1980 12 friends were killed why should 22 why should 2022 be any different it's rumored that jason was eventually buried on site in yearly, some of the most infamous will gather on the grounds to celebrate his life. Horror has many faces. 
Death wears many masks, but pure evil wears only one. And this is your chance to see it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Prepare your drones. Will you find Jason dead or alive? All right, that was really cool. Um, I got to find out more about it because it looks like it's just available for one night. <laughs> that is pretty freaking awesome. I'm actually pretty excited about it. And I may have to change my Saturday schedule to a Friday that night just so we can check that out. But surely once you've got it, you've got it you? uh, forever. I would think so. All right, what state is it in? Yeah, I'm not really sure what state it's in, uh, Crystal. I mean, Chris, Crystal Steve. <laughs> Crystal Steve? Spider Steve. Oh, October 28th. All right. Now, let's get back up in the air. That was a lot of fun. Uh, oh, there is no wind. Good deal. So I will, um, I'll taxi to the left just a little bit and then turn around and we'll fly out um, to my right so we can see this, so we can see the resort that, um, uh, no, wait, I got to go take a pee break. What? Give me just a second. I'll be right back. What am I thinking? Be right back, y'all. Hit those Fs in chat. See you in a minute. time to return right at the end of a song now we'll get up in the air bladders empty tanks are full water cup is full too so once again i'll taxi to the left and then we'll spin around and fly out to the right so we can check out the resort area quoted from their web most of friday the 13th the classic horror film released in 1980 was filmed at camp Nobisoko, a Boy Scout camp, about 100 miles north of Philadelphia in Warren County. 387-acre camp opened in 1927, making it the oldest continuously run Boy Scout camp in New Jersey. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. And I guess that also adds to the spookiness of it because it's so old that everything is just old. That's really cool. 
Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Nickname Crystal Light to keep the creeps away. And um, yeah, tourists from tearing it up and all that good stuff. Oh, nice. Super Typhon. Yes. I hope you can get a job and get a good PC in one year. Heck yeah. That should be very doable. And actually, Super Typhon, I encourage you, I would encourage you to look into building one yourself instead of paying for one that's already built. Uh, look into building one yourself. It's really not that hard. And you will save yourself a lot of money by doing that. Uh, and I'm speaking from experience because I got totally, absolutely screwed when I bought my first piece, uh, first streaming PC. So I speak from experience when I say that. Oh, you had that planned. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Just making sure. All right. I'll sit here just a minute. Let everyone, uh, let everyone catch up. So we've got flying along with us, Jordan, Nova stuff, Dusty, Nova stuff, <laughs> Dusty Rock, Fly the World, Chronico, some others strange. that are too close see, to see. Do what now? I said strange. I, I see lots of floating aircraft uh, at this airport, but I'm I'm pretty sure I don't have any scenery here. Wow, that's weird. Uh, Gare Bear is here. Scrub Vase Spider. All right. I thought I saw Trump 17 up there too, up ahead, but I guess they left. All right, here we go. Let's get up in the air and uh, I want to check out this uh, resort hotel up here on the right. Going to buy part by part and see how that turns out. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty smart, Super Typhon. Buy part by part as you can afford it. See everyone on the ground, but they may not be well grounded. Holy moly. What a beautiful place. Wow. Wow. Too bad this isn't rendered any better than it is. I'm going to have to fly around this again. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go get fancy like my socks. I love that Chronico. Wow. Boy, I tell you what, when they open this island for... Um tourists they really opened it for tourists didn't they oz i mean it looks like yeah, just, it save, just save your pennies if you want to come here it's certainly not cheap no it looks like every square inch has something on it wow And that is a pretty good design on the runway as well. It's on the other side of the mountain, so yeah, you don't hear the you don't hear the um, the noise. Absolutely stunning, though. I'm gonna have to look this up in real life. Okay, so now actually, we need to head back the direction that we were just heading. I'll just fly over this island really quick first it looks like a golf course right there yeah most definitely is that a golf course us oh, you know I don't know for sure but it wouldn't surprise me you know, say this is this is the top line five-star resort here yeah, I'd say there's no doubt that's a golf course. Oh, thank you too much, Hair Product. I appreciate that. I love your uh, your username, by the way. 
too much hair product will make you end up like me welcome in though thank you for the first time chat and yeah so the music that you hear it will be a mixture of all sorts of different <laughs> styles all sorts of different styles and cultures of music but yeah i appreciate it i just i enjoy seeing the beauty of the world and flying along with others so that that's that's what we do here welcome in Yeah, it definitely looks like one Super Typhoon for sure. So now we'll fly a heading of 41 degrees. 41 degrees. Oh, dude. Too much hair product. So I never... I had I had heard of Flight Sim. I keep on saying I've ne I'd, I'd never heard of it, but I had heard of it. But thought it was more of a game than what it, what it is. And man, once I really sat down and watched people stream it and then bought it and started flying it. Oh my gosh. I love it. I fly as much as I can as well. Although I must say over the past week, I've played way more Splatoon 3 than what I needed to. So if you have a Nintendo, if any of you guys have a Nintendo Switch, and you'd like to friend request me on it every now and then i do get on there and play some games um exclamation fc will get you my friend code i haven't said that in literally well over a year yeah i'm not getting a buffer bar Yeah, so when I was a variety streamer, instead of saying, you know, fly what you want to and where you want to, I mean, how you want to, this is the closest airport and all that stuff, I would say, type in exclamation FC to get my friend code and you can jump in and play along. It really was, right, Beelzy? Right? Dude, Beelzy, I have played so much Hello. Splatoon 3. Is this goes me? through. Yeah, what? Fun. I didn't even know you were in here. And then you come in with a lurk. What's up, Disco Stu? Good to see you, my friend. This goes through is a great longtime member of the community here. I need to make sure that command does still work. What? Hang on a minute. I got to fix that. I thought I had it. Why would I have turned that off? It's not even there anymore. I must fix this. Wow, I guess I really got serious one day and said, hey, you know what? I love Flight Sim so much, I'm getting rid of my, my um, friend code command. Oh, Disco Stu, you just finished another Vat Sim flight? Nice. Awesome, man. I'm proud of you. You and uh, Infinite Fireman also is, is uh, dipping their toes into Vat Sim. Good job. This island is actually Whitsunday Island, like the, the title island of, of the group. Uh, less developed than uh, some of the smaller uh, uh, resort-based ones, but uh, extremely beautiful. I mean, on the, on these islands that, that where there is no development, you know, you, you, you could have these beaches all to yourself at times. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I just noticed this inlet. I gotta I gotta circle around and, and check this out. Oh, you only heard about Vat Sim this week? So I've done one Vat Sim flight. It's really intimidating to me, which is which is weird because I'm usually not a intimidatable person, but something about getting on there and, and doing that um, really intimidates me. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Everybody, it's intimidating to everybody. Yeah. 
Last night, Van Sim flight was crazy. He departed from Boston and there were 25 planes. What? Oh, was uh, Sheen controlling? Exactly. Yeah, Mark. It's exactly what it is to stage fright. I mean, it's really no different than when I first started streaming. It's just, you just got to jump in and do it. But here I am saying that and I haven't done it. Nice. Someone else. Wait, Infinite Fireman, I think was there last night too for that if i'm not mistaken or somebody somebody that was in here earlier was in there then too discussed it oh they had ground and departure that's got to be crazy as a controller to have all aspects of it up and running Oh, so T Mark, you have the same thing. You still have stage fright, even though you're you were a pilot and didn't have any issues talking to ATC. Well, that's good to know. Cowboy, what's happening, dude? How are you doing? CIA Cowboy is another flight sim streamer. Great, great guy. Um, awesome friend of the community and just a lover of people and veterans and helping others. How you doing, Cowboy? Cowboy, I saw where you were streaming, what, two or three nights ago? And I jumped in your channel and lurked. I didn't, I don't know what I was doing, but I didn't have the opportunity to um, hang out and even speak. But yes, I did see the picture you posted in your Discord. CIA Cowboy was riding his motorcycle. Something just hit him in the hand didn't really hurt just stung a little bit and then he got really really bad infected had to have surgery get his hand cut open it's crazy yeah chronico my fear is just not seeing not saying the right thing and then getting booted off of at sim or you know whatever happens i don't know I'm glad the winds have calmed down a little bit. I will say that. Oh, uh, no, I have not heard of that one, dude. I've got um, DCS. I've got Digital Combat Simulator. But I haven't heard of that one. Il-2 Sturmovic? Oh, I've had DCS for a long time, Cowboy. I've had it. Um... Oh, Spider, you are... Dude, that was close, Spider Steve. I thought you were going to plow right into that rock. That was that was beautiful. Yeah, I've had it for a while. No, I don't have... The only thing I did with DCS is got it and installed it and opened it up, and I didn't even update it. I haven't done anything with it. Yeah, Spider Steve, you really had me worried for a minute there. Okay, Chronica. Well, that makes me that makes me feel better. I'm still, I'm not planning on doing a a VAT sim flight anytime soon. Not even when I recreate the um, flight to FS Expo. Yeah, is anyone else having lag issues or is it just uh, Super Typhoon and his computer? And Super Typhoon, I'm afraid to say it, probably it sounds like it might just be you. Yeah, all good here. Oh, nice, Cowboy. Thank you. Um, Yeah, Cowboy, it is complex. Um, The reason I bought DCS, or what reason I got it, was my intent was to fly with the shadow display team on their streams when they do their Friday, you know, fun, fun, uh, games with viewers. But I'm so in love with Microsoft flight sim. I just can't put it down. Yeah. So cowboy, I did. 
Oh, go ahead, Oz. Sorry. Yep. Uh, next island just coming into view is Hook Island. Again, uh, one of the undeveloped islands. Oh, this one almost looks like a claw looking at it on a uh, little nav map. Yeah, it looks like a Halloween claw, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got the balloon. I've got the balloon, cowboy. So I did do a... Uh, Oh yeah, Cowboy's got a really good uh, crew over on his channel. He's a great, great guy. Um, what was I saying? I oh, did do one VAT sim flight a while back off stream. I found an airport in Canada that had one controller, a tower controller, and nobody at the airport. So I spent some time doing pattern work, but that's it. Yeah, the balloon's really cool. Oh, that's a good idea, cowboy. Yeah, they did a fantastic job with the balloon, for sure. They really did. Ooh. Oh, that's the inlets. These islands truly are beautiful. I'm going to fly over this way. I want to see this part of it yeah so fun story I got the balloon uh I forgot when it was earlier in the week or over the weekend and I was screwing around with the fireworks didn't know what I was doing didn't read the the POH or anything even if, yeah there is I'm pretty sure there's a POH or didn't read it um Grab the firework, set it off. Next thing I know, I'm plummeting out of the sky with holes in my balloon. Didn't know you could do that with that balloon. Oh, I think you should definitely attempt that on on stream sometime, Graphic. <laughs> it was uh, it was something else. Oh, nice! This goes through. Is he a streamer or is he just um? Is he just in the finals as a as a gamer? That's pretty awesome. He's just a gamer. That's awesome, man. I could see my grandson doing that one day. My grandson's a lot like I was at his age, really into video games and electronic stuff and everything. Now, we haven't come up on Shark Bay yet, have we, Oz? Because I remember seeing that in the flight plan somewhere. That's further off. Okay. Now, the last smaller island uh, in, in this particular part of the group is uh, Hayman Island. Again, another swanky five-star resort island. Uh, no airstrip on this, so you can only access it uh, from the water. Um, but one interesting fact about this is around this island, um, there is an underwater um, art trail that you can follow um, by scuba diving. Um, several sculptors have placed objects on the sea floor um about up to about 30 feet down of fish and turtles and and other things um, related to the area oh that's really neat uh and cia cowboy thank you so much for jumping in and hanging out and saying hello um been uh, been praying for you brother with your hand um yes medicate your hand and go to bed my friend always good to see you take care Super Typhon, you're watching me at a pixelated 180? No, 160. What? 
which often tones down lag, but you have to rewatch. Oh yeah. Um, when I first started working where I work now, our internet was horrible. And that's right when I started on Twitch was a few years after I started working where I work now. And yes, I found myself having to really, really dumb down uh, the pixels while I was re while I was watching because it was lagging so bad. Horrendous. His son is pretty serious about his game and he even has a sponsor. Whoa, dude, that's really cool. How how old is he, Disco? Dude, just curious. You're welcome, cowboy. So, Oz, is this the resort area right here, you said? Is it this island? Yep, that's it. Oh, yeah. Man, look at that marina. Ah, that's nice. Very, very nice. And it looks like the water is not really deep. Uh, no, it would be very shallow in, in those bays there for sure. Yeah, man. Oh, that's so nice. Your son is 20. Dude, that's, that's awesome, man. I love how this looks. So I guess that's a big sandbar. And it looks like boats parked along the sandbar right there. Yeah, a lot of that would be exposed at low tide, I'd imagine. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's coral all around these islands too. I'm gonna dive down. That's, uh, that's actually part of the purpose of those sculptures. Um, they've seeded coral polyps around them to <sighs> Uh, grow more coral to replace um, what was destroyed in the last cyclone that came through here. Yeah. I just want to circle around and get a little bit closer look at it. Oh yeah, Disco Stu, same, same with me and my grandkids. Like, as, as soon as they were able to hold a Nintendo, they had mine in their hands playing with it. And we got them, we got them switches for Christmas a couple years ago. And the granddaughter is not really into it as much as uh, my grandson is. That is gorgeous. Really, really nice. Thank you, Oz, for, for putting these in here. Just beautiful stuff. Hey, uh, Kalis Wayne, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Welcome in. When you lived in Hawaii, you were in Kauai working on the reef. It was really cool until you saw the sea snakes. Ouch. Yeah. That would be, uh, that'd be freaky. I think I'm going to stay low now. So, uh, Kiz Wayne, if you are KLS, KLS Wayne, if you are a flight simmer and you'd like to jump in and join us, uh, we still have a little ways to go. Feel free to jump in and fly, fly what you want to and fly how you want to. I should point out that you do need to take some care. Uh, around these beaches uh, certainly there'll be sharks in these waters uh, and occasionally crocs too oh really
a black mamba. I can't say it like uh, Steve Irwin used to. I remember him hunting for a black mamba. Papaya or Pumelo, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Don't be y'all. Don't be shy. Go ahead and speak in chat if you'd like to. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to put you out of your comfort zone because I know some people don't like typing in chat. But uh, welcome in. Feel free to join part of the conversation if you'd like to fly along. Feel free to fly along. Also, as you can see, we got a lot of people flying with us tonight. Osnomad, Jurdot, Chronico, Nova Stuff, Kenzo, Spider, Steve, uh, Gare Bear, Crunch, Stuck Vase, Dusty Rock, and Fly of the World Now. All flying along with us. Oh! No problem. I wish I could speak French, but I can't. I can say we. Oui. Awesome. Welcome in. There was a guy that used to uh, follow me who was from Paris when I first started streaming. I haven't seen him in a while. You're very welcome. You are very welcome. Everyone's always welcome on my channel. But thank you for the follow. Wonder why my radio's not working. My nav, there. Power is off. Yeah, France is another beautiful part of the world. Um, I spent several fantastic holidays when I was a a child in Brittany in France. It's a lovely part of the world. Oh, nice. That's somewhere I have not been yet on stream is France. They make the best crepes and waffles in that area. Well, you almost spent a month in November in, uh, in France last November and left every minute of it. Oh, I can imagine. Good night. Good night, Wayne. Thank you. Saw Paris, Nice, Leon, Normandy, Montpellier, and Marseille. Nice. I took two years of French in junior high school. But as a lot of boys my age... I wasn't really concerned about school so much as I was about girls. Au revoir. There we go. Thank you. Au revoir. I remember that. Oh, that brought back memories of my... Uh... Oh, no! Oh, that was wrong. All right, engine failure. Crap. Into the plane I go, and... Uh, good one, Infidel Fireman. Very good one. Let's see here. You might have to aim for the beach, Scruffy. Yeah, I'm going to aim for the beach, right? They, oh, I'm not... I'm at two... I'm not at a good angle for it at all. I think you're too low to make the next airport. Yeah, yeah. I'm not at a good angle to, to catch this in time. I, I might can make it. Wow, and I Wait thought my no-flaps landing was a challenge. 
Why did my props start back turning when I turned flaps on? I went full flaps and looked like my engine started back up. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No ELT either. Yes. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sky Command. What's happening? How are you doing? Sergeant Staff, welcome in also. Dude, wow. Wow. Stella. Well done, Scruff. Jeez, thank you. Wow. Um, I tend to do better landings under emergency situations than I do regular landings. Oh, that was a good challenge. Thank you for that, Infinite Fire, man. Uh -oh. Now you've got to get out, get your tools out, repair the engine, and get back in the air. Yep. Sky Command, how are you doing, man? So Sky Command is another um, awesome flight sim streamer, good friend of the community. How you doing, Sky Command? Really, really fun community, too. If you want a really, really fun streamer, unlike me, go check out Sky Command. Great guy. Let me give uh, Sky Command a shout out. Zippo is raiding me. What? Zippo, how are you doing, man? And then there's a shout out for uh, Sergeant Staff also. How you doing, Dippo? Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in, Dippo and Raiders. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? How was your controlling stream? Good to see you. Yeah, Sky Command's a great guy. Um, Just finished your first Deltas for Dummies. Dude, I saw you advertise it and... Had it not been for me streaming, I would have jumped in there and watched. I probably wouldn't have tried to stream. But how did it go? How was it? Now, I took off good. I mean, I landed good. The takeoff is going to be a different story. I'm afraid. Oh, check this out, too. I want to show you one other thing real quick before we take off. My oil level... My oil level is now dangerously low. But like I said, I'm going to run this until... Oh, there's the rescue copter. I'm going to run this until the engine locks up or whatever happens. Nice. Dippo, that's awesome that you had some people helping too. Good deal, man. All right, I'm going to try to circle around and take off the way I came in. <laughs> do a bush takeoff that's gonna be hard it's kind of hard to do that in a uh in a cessna i don't know if this tree's gonna hurt me or not it didn't nice oh i wish i was in the kit box right now one notch of flaps just to get me up in the air a little bit quicker oh holy crap Oh, God, I was so freaking close. No. Oh, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. Oh, I love that bent prop. Oh yeah, and it smokes too. The the uh, the plane will be smoking. Let me get. Well, <laughs> I don't guess it will be smoking because I'm in the water. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, uh, my nose gear. See, my nose gear's broke. Oh, I was I was. Oh, I just caught the end of it. I mean, just caught the corner of the uh, of the cliff there, and that's what killed me. Ah. All right, so I got to exit out with this plane. There's no other way you can't, there's no other way to do this except uh, exit out and then coming back in, which that's cool. I don't mind that at all. And the reason they do that is because if you were to crash like that in a real plane, then you would have to take it and get it repaired. So this right now it's getting repaired. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> no guesses, no winners. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find any of you guys uh, to spawn in on. So we were right, we we're right here, right in this area. Yeah, there you are. There's everybody. Hello, everybody. I'll jump in on uh, Fly the World now. Bring around the loader. Yeah, bring around the loader plane, please. <laughs> but, yeah, ima imagine imagine having to recover your aircraft in real life from a place like that. Oh, mm, my gosh. Expensive or what? Yeah, very much so. Dippo, thank you so much for the raid. Um, uh, Dippo, actually, you're also up next for the uh, for the podcast. But why did it take me off at the airport? This ain't what I wanted to do. Uh, Dippo, I'm gonna reach out to you because you are next um, to be the guest on my podcast if you'd like to. Yep, I will. I will DM you. All right. Well, I guess I'll I'll take off from here and then I'll just come up and meet you guys. Take care, Dippo. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for trusting your community with me. Uh, for those of you that came in with Dippo, if you don't know me already, I'm Scruffy Tam. I am a longtime gamer. I've been gaming since the 1970s. I've been a, a streamer on Twitch for two years or over two years a little bit over two and i've been a gamer i mean excuse me i've been a flight simmer for a little bit over a year now welcome in now you know what i'm gonna salute to you guys because i'm way too far away from you slew this i'm gonna i'm gonna salute to you well we're all coming your way scruffy oh okay all right, well, cool. Then I'm gonna keep on flying. That's right. Y'all have had time to keep flying as I did all my recovery shenanigans. All right, well, I'm just gonna circle around this hill and then I'll continue on my merry way. Stream on. Stream on, stream on, stream because I came back to you. Thank you for the unlurk message. That is my favorite message, actually. Uh, I'm not flying live weather. I am flying live time. Let's see what the weather looks like now. Oh, I am. I am on live weather. I wasn't earlier, but I am now. Infinite Fireman, take what? care of yourself. Sleep well, my friend. Thank you. Looks like the day's cleared up nicely now. Yes, it has. Oh yeah, do it. it uh, too much hair product. Yes. Show up in an F8, F-18. I love it. Yes, flying Saturday morning. We'll uh, be in Iceland. So for those of y'all new to the channel, I, um, I do have a regular streaming schedule. If you are a streamer also, um, that's probably one of the number one things, number one tips that I would give you is set a streaming schedule for yourself and stick to it. Oh, I want me a lot. <laughs> no, you probably wouldn't lose any followers. Um, but I stream on Thursday evenings, Saturday mornings and Sunday evenings. All at eight o'clock. So eight o'clock in the evening and eight o'clock in the morning, Eastern daylight time. Yes, I did get the floaty act. I sure did. Wombie, what I want you to do is do another, um, do another 3D painting of a livery stream and not cut it off this time so I can watch it, know how to do liveries. And you know, I'm just, just kidding with you. Rayos, what's up, Rayos? How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, you gonna get the track IR set up? Nice. How you doing, Rayos? So Rayos is another flight sim streamer, friend of the community. Uh, great guy. Actually, was uh, like the grand prize winner of my spring break, 
special streams that I did earlier this year. Wow. It seems like so long ago. Oh, I'm just giving you a hard time, Wubby. But I did watch that stream that you did. Where you were creating the uh, the tractor. Oh, this is being more resort areas. Or is this just houses, Wumby? I mean, not Wumby. I'm getting tired. Oh, is this is this resort or is this kind of resort and residence? Yeah, a bit of both, um, uh, Scruffy. People do, you know, there is a permanent population here. Okay. Uh, Wayne, I am in South Carolina in the United States. In Areos, yeah, the, the, the skies are treating me greatly. I'm really, really enjoying this Australia series that I'm doing. Especially having a tour guide like Oz in here as well. Oh, you grew up in Matthews? Nice. I have lived in this town for a long time, um, 44 years. We moved here from Massachusetts when I was 10 years old, and this is where I've been ever since. Yeah, so I've got it set up where when someone says the word where, it automatically posts that because most of the time if someone says where, they're asking where I am, so it just automatically posts the link to where I am. Good deal. It is it is very helpful, yep. Between that and the closest airport showing in the upper right hand corner helps most of the people, the, the vast majority. Hey, too much here. Uh, we're on the east coast of Australia in uh, central Queensland, heading north up the coast. You know, I was wondering earlier why the uh, skies were so smooth. And I just realized it was because I was on um, my own weather with no wind. So I'm getting some bumpiness now. So Oz, how big is Queensland? Is it, when I think of, you know, like South Carolina or North Carolina or Texas or whatever, I think of a state and they're relatively, relatively small compared to all the other ones. But Queensland must be huge because we've been in Queensland since the beginning, right? Yes, it, uh, Queensland is one of the larger states uh, in the country. Uh, our states vary in size from Tasmania, which is an island off the south coast, which is the smallest, uh, up to the size of Western Australia, where I live, which is about one third of the entire country. Um, Queensland would probably be about uh, a fifth or a sixth of the continent, I would imagine. Wow. That's still pretty big. <laughs> Uh, this will be a yeah, can, touch and go, touch and go, Switchy. Yeah, you can drive for several days in most states uh, here and, and never leave the same state. Wow. Play my sock song every time someone wanted to see my socks. Have you noticed a change in the um, 
uh, clear skies setting since the last sim update, Scuffy. Yes. I'm noticing that uh, they've put some streaky, wispy high clouds in it now rather than just a plain blue sky. Yes, and I'm loving it. So I think what I'm going to do is veer left into this valley. And then just cross over the mountains right here. Instead of risking the crashing call into of, the mountains. The call of the valleys is just too much to resist. Oh, they really are. <laughs> I, just, I love them. Yeah, Super Typhon, and I'm sure that's in the works, is the different uh, different types of clouds. Yeah, I think they're uh, consistently getting better with every update. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Super Typhon, that would be crazy to have a, a proper, um, I can't, I have a hard time saying that word, but a hard, a, a big anvil cloud, yes. Spider Steve following right along with me in the Eucharist. Oh, there we go. Thank you for, uh, thank you for how you did that. Cumulonimbus. Okay. Yeah, there we go. C Cumulonimbus. Okay. Thank you. It helps to break it into pieces like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Dang it. Sorry for coughing in your ears. Staff, you heading to work? Have a great night at work. That picture that you showed of the machine that was broke. Oh, your Alaskan Bush Company boss is calling. Gotcha. No worries. You're calling it a night here. No problem, Gear Bear. I totally understand. Thank you, my friend. Uh, staff, take care of yourself. Happy flying. Take care, my friend. Gear Bear, you take care also. Always good to have you guys in here. Take care, staff. King Ken, back in the game. Nice. There's Kenzo and Diamond Air. We got about, uh, looks like 60 or 70 miles to go before the end. So still got a little ways left. That translates into, ooh, another hour. I need to speed up just a little bit. 
after this next day report. So this next day report will just be a touch and go. Actually, the next two airports will just be touch and goes. So this one, YHAB and uh, Bowen, Yankee Bravo Whiskey November will also be a touch and go. Yeah, I probably am going to firewall it after this. I've been up uh, quite a while today. Side slip down a little bit. Oh, that was Dusty Rock in the 145. Nice. And the recovery chopper. Oh, that's a nice short strip right here as well. Come on, stop floating. There we go. A little floating going on. Don't want to float it. We need to hit the ground. All right, next airport is 14 nautical miles away. And again, it'll just be a touch and go as well. Water landing. I did a water landing a little while ago. Oh, are you doing a water landing? King Ken, nice. Oh, very cool, very cool. So uh, Saturday morning, we'll continue our tour of Iceland, and I'll probably be flying the kit box again. Um, I haven't even got the flight plan together yet, so I plan on doing that. Oh, well, well, I guess I'll have to do that tomorrow. I wanna, if we're flying there Saturday morning. And there'll be probably just one or two more flights there. And then I think we'll recreate the Hawaii tour I'll have to review my VODs 
of the uh, old Hawaii tour and, and get the plans from Little Nav Map and just recreate it. Unless I think of something different. Yeah, Super Typhon, that's a good idea, actually. I might do it in the floaty act. That would make it a little bit quicker, especially flying over the open ocean. Since I've got the, uh, the float Kodiak. That's a great idea. Thank you for that. So I'm going to try one of my Kaharia candies. Things are so good. Sorry, I promised I would share if y'all were here with me. Yeah, um, Apire. Oh, we're heading for Bowen with a lot of Australian history. Cool. Uh, Apire, I've got the Logitech um, X56 uh, stick, and I love it. But I don't use it much just because I always fly the Cessna 172 for the most part. So I don't really need them for that. But they are very good. The Thrustmaster... 16,000 I think it is I've also heard are very good and I think they're a little bit more affordable than the um, X-56 is yeah X-52 is good as well yeah movie location for the greatest movie ever made just called Australia oh really what was it about? What was the what was the movie called Australia about? So this airport is just going to be another touch and go. I think I see. Looks like it's got two runways. Is that a runway that I see? Yeah, I'm ashamed to say I have never seen that movie. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Yeah, so it's got two runways. uh old man gaming forever i am not i don't think so yet because it just released um yeah it wasn't part of this week's uh, release to the marketplace for sure okay yeah so at this point no oh it's been out about 10 years nice it's not yet. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I just got it on, uh, was it Sim, Sim Market or SimWorks? SimWorks Studios? Yeah, SimWorks Studios. So many different developers. It's hard for me to keep them all straight. Oh, yeah. Old oh, man. Yep. Yeah. Deep Dish Dave, how are you doing, man? Uh, end of the line, 72. Thank you for the first time chat. Hugh Jackman and Nicole Kidman. Really? So it must be a pretty big, uh, pretty big budget movie then. Deep Dish Dave, yeah, I how are you doing? it was a big thing when it came out. Okay, I had, I'd never heard of it. Deep Dish Dave is another uh, flight sim streamer, friend of the community, also a uh, owner of a uh, couple pizza places good to see you deep dish day hence the name deep dish hope you're doing well my friend how's the restaurant business yeah so what i like to do if 
when and if it's possible i like to purchase products from the developer themselves uh that way you're supporting the developer because these other these other websites they take a cut of you know of the price away from the developer so i always try to buy directly from the developer if possible sometimes it's not Yeah, old man gamer. Apparently, there's not going to be uh, any discount for the Flotiac uh, on, on uh, in the marketplace. It's something that they can't do because of restrictions placed on them by Microsoft. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Busy shop, but no complaints. Oh no! Oh, I almost set off the LT. As we fly over this area, if you look around, you'll see it's, a, it's an enormous um, agricultural area. All sorts of crops have grown up here. Bowen is known for things like tomatoes, capsicums, uh, and other stuff, as well as sugar. And uh, again, uh, a, 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 a poor history as far as the uh, indigenous population goes. Um, um, evictions from their land. Um, pitch battles um, and, and a few massacres too, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah, I mean, fifteen dollars. It's not a bad price anyway. So I'm not complaining. Your animal. Bowen has another one of Australia's big things, by the way. It has a big mango. Oh, really? Is it along the way? It's not visible in the sim, unfortunately. Oh, it's somewhere shoot. in the town there. Oh, sorry, I didn't research exactly where. It's not. It's not a POI, though, unfortunately. Um, but it's just a publicity thing, as it is with a lot of these um, sort of uh, country towns and so forth, to draw in the tourists. Um, there was a bit of a prank pulled uh, some years back, apparently, where um, it was reported in the local papers that it had been stolen. Uh, and this is a huge thing, weighs many tons. <laughs> um, so uh, th that got uh, the public interest uh, up again. Neat. Well, makes you wonder if it was a publicity stunt. Oh, it, it absolutely was, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was. Gotcha. You don't get to fly and stream very often for obvious reasons. Yeah, with owning a business, I can't imagine. You able to stream last night and it went awesome. You got rated, so you got a bunch of viewers. Oh, nice, man. Congratulations. Hey, that's all that matters. If, uh, you know, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing is what I'm always told. Thankfully, I've never had to try that in real life. Yeah, that big mango apparently cost $90,000 to, to put up. Oh. It went up in 2002. And then in 2014, um, the 10 meter high, seven ton fiberglass structure was reported to be stolen as part of a publicity stunt for the region. <laughs> that is pretty smart. Oh, I was going to ask you what this is sticking out, but I see now that's one of the waypoints you put in. It's a cold jetty. Yeah, that's Abbott Point, which is a huge coal loading uh, facility here. Um, it's got a, a, a very long jetty. I think it's about a mile. Um, wow. And um, the, the coal is fed out along that jetty on conveyor belts and uh, loaded into ships um, that pull up there to, to load up. Also here, out of interest, it is not, again, not represented in the sim. I'm not even sure if they've actually in real life started building it here. 
yet, but um, there's a there's a, a space port coming. Um, uh, a company called Gilmore Space, I think, is going to be building a space port here and launching satellites from it. Oh, very cool. And King Ken, I totally missed your comment. I'm sorry. You've driven past this airport maybe a hundred times. Dang. And uh, I wondered when I was looking at Little Nav Map, way to type load loading things down on the piles of coal there uh, and the jetty itself is is well represented oh wow yeah i don't know how i even did that i muted myself somehow sorry about that y'all uh where are we flying we are in australia again still uh we'll be in australia wow I'm, i love how they have the machines actually rendered Oh, hey, Deep Dish, am I too late to order one with the lock to go, please? <laughs> Spiffy, what's up, Spiffy? How are you doing? Um, Chunky, did I do a Fabio? Yeah, I may have. Oh, um, <laughs> I may or may not have done a Fabio. Oh, uh, Chunky, dude, I thought, um, I thought I made you mad and you left a little while ago. I was going to message you on Discord after stream was over. I'm doing really well, Spiffy. Good to see you again. Welcome in. Yeah, that jetty is actually 2.75 kilometers in length. Wow, they did a great job modeling that too. This location was chosen because it's it's the only deep water port uh, in, in these parts where the big ships can get in and load up. Wow, yeah, they did a really, really good job handcrafting that. Uh, yeah, Chunky, I, uh, I told everyone what a jerk you were. And, oh, I'm just kidding. No, I forgot. We, all, I, we already knew that. We already <laughs> knew that, Scotty. <laughs> I always Sorry, <laughs> he said oh, I wouldn't be wrong no I, I always try to remember to shout you out uh shout the Thunderbirds out whenever you come on uh and I forgot till a little ways a few minutes later to do that <clears throat> and when I said something about it you, you didn't respond but I figured you were in practice no big deal yeah, for sure, Super Typhoon. That's that's one of the best POIs I've seen. Um, well, not yeah. I guess it is one of the best. Probably not the best, but it is one of the best I've seen so far in Australia. Oh, it's hollow. I thought about trying that Chronico. I'm glad you tried it. Thank you. And yes, King Ken, it is a pity there's no ships there. That would make it. Uh, like there was that cruise ship when we landed at the port a couple streams ago. That would have been nice to have had a, a coal ship there loading up. Would have added a nice little uh, level of realism to it. Uh, Chronico got caught out by the old uh, hollow conveyor belt truck. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> You never know what's hollow and what's solid. As much as I like flying valleys, I also like flying under bridges. And I learned quick enough that uh, not all bridges can be flown under. Sometimes it has solid water on the other side of it. Hey, animal, I see you now, animal. I never should have opened this candy up. I'm going to end up eating the whole box. I can't, when it, when it comes to sweets, 
I don't know when to stop. Yeah, I'm about, uh, a bit like that. I picked up a, a new flavor of Toblerone in the, in the supermarket uh, the other day. But I opened it up. It's it's uh, it's uh, got ginger and orange uh, orange candied orange peel in it. It's really nice. Ooh. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit unput put downable. If you think that snow on the hills in front, well, it's definitely not. It does kind of resemble snow from the distance, though. Does any part of Australia see snow? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We've got ski fields um, down south in, uh, in New South Wales and in Victoria. Okay. I don't know how much longer we will have them, mind you, the way the climate's going. Ah, uh, true. Oh, in Tasmania, too. Ah, yeah, sure. That's right. I forgot about uh, Tassie. So Sharp Bay is on the other side of this uh, mountain, right? I think that's right. I think we've passed Sharp Bay already now. We are. We are just trying to see where we are. Yeah, little nav map showing it on the other side of these hills. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I was a bit ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah. It's it's on the opposite side of um, this this uh, peninsula here. End of the line. The uh, last airport for today is a Yankee Alpha Yankee Romeo, and it is uh, twenty about 30 nautical miles away we're about 30 miles away yeah are you flying along with us right now or no Okay. We're about 100 kilometers south of you. Note you live in Townsville, about 90 kilometers north of Ayer. Okay. So we should be there next stream then, which would be, well, next time I stream Australia, which will be Sunday evening or Sunday morning for you. Oh, nice valley right here. 
How did I miss that? Oh yeah, I've had uh, several people say they were having some lag and stuttering, Jay Winokur. Although I haven't noticed any. Has anyone else noticed any on my stream? I haven't noticed it on my end. Yeah, thank you, dude. I didn't notice it on my end either. But I have had uh, some viewers say that it was lagging on their end. So I'm assuming this is Shark Bay because it's a popular area for sharks to hang out. I'll be quite honest here and say I have no idea. But yes, I would imagine it would have been named back in the day because the early explorers um, um, sighted some sharks here. You could probably name all the bays up here, Shark Bay, truth be told. Well, that's, yeah, that's the kind of what I was thinking. Spiffy, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that very, very much, Spiffy. Thank you. Um, wow. I'll I love the prime subs. Thank you. Prime subs are, uh, it's, it's amazing when someone subscribes with a prime sub because you only get one of those a month. And, uh, for someone to spend it on me is, is just mind blowing. So thank you for that. I was just looking for sharks. Yeah, they should definitely put some sharks uh, in the set, along with uh, kangaroos and a few other things. Yeah. I was looking for a big shark. I mean, you got a big pineapple, big banana. You need to have a big shark. Oh, I'll, I'll have to look big that up for you. I, I, it would surprise me if there wasn't one somewhere in Australia. <laughs> And a big Tasmanian devil, too. Yeah, I've got a long list somewhere of um, you know, a couple of hundred, I think, big things all around Australia. Wow. Where? what's going on? How are you doing? Yeah, Spider Steve, it might be easier to see a whale for sure. Stall Sim Pilot, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. Did I pack my raft right? Uh, not today. I did not pack a raft. Although I did do an emergency landing a little while ago that was super impressive. What's up, Claire? Hope you're doing well. Some noisy Tasmanian devils for sure. Yeah, I stole Sim Pilot. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Happy Thursday to you. Yeah, when I post it to, um, when I post my VODs to YouTube, I go in and do chapter markers so you can find some of the things. Like most of the landings I do, I'll put a chapter marker. And if there's something like that that happens, I'll put a chapter marker on it. But that won't be until sometime tomorrow before I get it uploaded to YouTube and do that. Possibly even Saturday. You know, thinking about it, I'm, I'm really surprised that they haven't done migrating whales in the sim. They've done a few other animals, and the uh, the migration paths of, of, of whales around the world are pretty well known. Yeah, and I wouldn't think it would be too hard to do that. I mean, just keep them confined to a certain area. 
just fly over them and look at them. Uh, Wambi, are you listening to this? If you're still on stream, we need whales. Yeah, if Wambi can do a uh, a unicorn balloon, then Wambi can do a whale. Oh, Wambi can do anything. Yes. All right, we're about 13, 13 nautical miles away from final destination of Yankee Alpha Yankee Romeo Air. Is that how it's pronounced? Is Air? Yep, that's it. Air it is. Okay. Big Booty Con River with flying down. With what now, King Ken? With the flying down quite huge? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty big river. Too much hair, you going to bed? Thank you for being here. Uh, appreciate the follow. Really nice meeting you. And uh, I'll be back Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It will be flying in Iceland unless I decide to do something differently. Saturday is always a um, wild card. <laughs> Where? Thank you for the host. <laughs> yeah, wild card Saturdays. I've been doing Iceland, but you never know. I might pull something out of my out of my hat that I don't wear. Uh, Quair at the expo was um, different, I'll say. Oh, there is a big bridge. Oh, I see the big bridge. Heck yeah, I'm going to try that. Uh, the expo was called the Southern Automotive Conference. And when people asked what myself and our department had, when they asked what we did for a living and we told them, we had several people say, what are y'all doing here then? And we're like, it's a Southern Automotive Expo. We're automotive instructors. What do you think we're doing here? <laughs> Thank you, Stall Sim Pilot. Appreciate that. But yes, I am really, really looking forward to Flight Sim Expo, though. I have not been to an F FS Expo either. No, 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 no. It wasn't a Flight Sim Expo. No, it was an Automotive Technology Expo. 
No, the one that I've been going on about is in June of next year. So you have plenty of time to get registered and come down there. Coffee, Ellen, I feel like I need some coffee. This is going to be, uh, Show us those this is going to be one of the latest Thursday night streams I've done in a while. It looks like Flodiac time. Yes, I do have the Flodiac and I'll be flying it, uh, soon on Saturday mornings. <laughs> so my socks of the day, wear a striped sock all the time. So my socks of the day on the right foot, I've got my fluorescent green socks with pink alien heads on the left foot. I got my green candy cane socks. Those are my socks of the day. Yeah, you went ballooning. I went ballooning the other day. I went ballooning the other day, went to shoot one of the fireworks and uh, blew a hole right in my balloon. And I fell right out of the sky. So if you didn't know that was a thing, it's a thing. I don't know how I did it is what's bad. I mean, the fireworks were pretty cool until the balloon fell out of the sky. Yeah, 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 I definitely blew it up. Yep. I blew that bad boy up. All right, we're getting down low. I'm going to fly under the bridge. And after, I don't see the bridge. And then after, the, oh, there it is. And then after that, uh, it's just a straight shot to the airport for our final airport of the night. Pull up, pull up. Pull. Holy crap, this is a low bridge. King Ken, are you sure you can fly under this? Oh, it that hurt. Very, it was it was very nice knowing you, Scruffy. Wow, did y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> I think my plane is now a convertible. That'll, that'll buff out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Quaird, I wonder that myself. Like, what are balloons doing in the balloon? This is not a good idea at all. But I tried it and it definitely. So, um, for those of you that have the balloon, I bought it and I've got the registration code, but I don't see where you put the registration code in. Yeah. Just checking to make sure I have all my wings. Oh, two cats did the same thing earlier. Oh, shoot. I'm glad it's a sim. All right, we're coming in on final. The wind kit changing too. be my luck i'd get in a balloon to fly somewhere and the wind would change and it'd just blow me right back where i was yeah there we go exactly where that's that's what would happen to me all right here we go right base into final
Yeah, I mean, I flew it, but I had no idea what I was doing at all. None whatsoever, period. It took me forever to figure out how to blow it up. And then once I got it up in the air, I figured out how to turn on the second burner. And then once I figured that out, I literally blew the balloon up with fireworks. And then that was it. The fun was over. Ooh, super typhoon. Wow. You're making me nervous now with that negative 49. You glanced at the pilot operating handbook. I didn't. I'm just... Uh, I'm such I'm such a typical person that doesn't read directions. I gotta learn the hard way. I mean how hard can it be to fly a balloon? Just fill it with hot air, right? And then I let all the hot air out and crash. Yeah, I have no idea how to fly a balloon either. Hence uh, me dropping to the ground. Oh, look, Nova stuff's flying the hot air balloon. Nice, Twitchy Rich. Heck yeah. Welcoming us in with hot air balloon. Oh, negative 650. Wow, that's, that is rough. I love that balloon. That looks so real. Just kind of chilling out above the airport there. This is going to be a rough landing, y'all. I got a feeling. Too high, too fast. Nah, not too bad. 224 is not bad, but not as good as what Super Typhon predicted. Sorry, Super Typhon. Yeah, me too. At that rate, that is that that's a pretty uh pretty strong pretty strong rate. T bone the airplane. Alright, so I'm just gonna park right here in the grass. Yeah, that was a smooth landing. All right, let's see here. Um, stupid thing. There we go. Come on, be a drone and not... Oh, drone view. Always helps to put it in drone view first. So let me get some screenshots of everybody here. Uh, thank you again, everybody. It's uh, every time I stream, I'm I say this a lot, but every time I stream, I'm just in awe of um, all the people that come and fly along, that come and talk in chat, and just keep me company as I do my crazy flying. Let's watch Oz come in. All uh, right, pressure, pressure. No pressure, Oz. Just got uh, people around though. You, you got a uh, international audience. No pressure. Spectacular job there, Oz. So I managed to uphold the honor of, uh, of my country. <laughs> yes, you did. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, let's, let me get one more screenshot. There we go. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we are going to raid my buddy Moose tonight. Make sure no one else. Yeah, I'm glad you finally caught me too, man. Good to see you. Yeah, so we'll raid Mustafa tonight, I think. Yeah, 
Oh, nice looking Yonkers there, Spider. There we go. Let me run through my list of thank yous to everybody. So, uh, Spiffy, thank you for the Prime sub. Dippo, thank you for the raid. Awesome raid. Thank you for that. Papaya, thank you for the follow. Wayne, thank you for the follow. Too much hair product. Thank you for the follow. Colonel Fork with a one month sub to, uh, no, gift sub to Paparazzi. Thank you for that. Kino gifting a sub to Oz Nomad. Thank you, Kino, for that. And the one to Nomad Aviator. Flights with Joel with the amazing raid. Also, thank you for that as well. Infinite Fireman with a resub. Thank you for that. Ibanez with a uh, gifted sub to KW. And also a resub. Thank you, Ibanez. And then Scoobs G. Scoobs G is a new streamer to Twitch. Uh, he streams on YouTube with a ton of followers. I met Scoobs on his uh, Twitch channel earlier in the week. A great uh, British streamer. Good guy. Go, uh, go check out Scoobs G. All right. So uh, I think that about covers everything. I'll be back Saturday morning. Oh, there comes Twitchy Rich with a hot air balloon. Oh, why didn't I fly up to you, Twitchy? I should have done that. Thanks for your company, everyone. Nice flying with you. Catch you on the next leg. Oz, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything, for the flight plans and for being here. Hey, Kentaro, welcome in. Oh, see ya.